Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ready Steady Play. It's me, Mike, here, uh, hanging out, just um, you know, waiting for uh, waiting for Chris. And um, you know, I just uh, yeah, welcome to our super chill live stream, everybody. How you doing out there? How, how's it going? Chris and I are gonna hang out. We're gonna play some uh, Marco Polo Two on Board Game Arena in a minute. We play. This is the third part in our Camel Triptych. Hey, Heggers. Hey, Eddie. Thanks for joining me in chat. How's it going? So, I just, uh, you know, this this might be the decider. So far, we seem to have only a series of games where you can, you can either be the winner or the Camel Lord, but not both. And the question really is, who is the actual winner? So, we're still seeking to determine whether or not it's possible to be both winner and Camel Lord, and this could be the decider. So... Uh, this is just going to be, I think, uh, a super chill game of Marco Polo 2, and we're going to be able to talk about it afterwards and whether or not we thought the first one or the second one was uh, preferable and how they line up. But uh, without further ado, let me bring in uh, let me bring in Chris. Hey, Chris, how's it going? <laughs> I can't believe you started without me. <laughs> <laughs> I just came back. I could hear from my headset you talking away to somebody. I was like, what the hell's happening? <laughs> Hey everybody, um, I was on time actually, and then Mike had to go away and do something, so I also went away and did something, and Mike just happened to get back first, so, this you know. complete slander. Because <laughs> um, I resent, I resent being told I'm fashionably late. <laughs> I, you know, um, I have the weirdest thing here, guys. I've got uh, coffee, but it's a coffee bag. It's like a tea bag, but with coffee. I don't think I can show this to you guys. That's on, not on a thing. Game. It is a thing. Look, can you see that coffee bag? I'm gonna pour coffee in my computer. Yeah, I vaguely can. I can vaguely. Yeah, I can see it. I was in such a hurry. I didn't have time to make a pot of coffee, so I was like, I'll just throw this coffee bag and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, it, I don't see why it wouldn't work. I guess if instant coffee's a thing. Yeah, I don't. I hope it's better than instant coffee. I'll let you guys know as the game progresses. <laughs> I'm just like sitting here, like poking it with my teaspoon, like. Come on, brew a bit faster. This is weird. Hey, Eddie, say Eddie. All right. Hager <laughs> says, um, coffee bag, there is no God. <laughs> uh, God. Yes, so I, I was very pleased. We, we wrote to BGA. We just said, look, we, we need we need another camel game, guys. And you're not delivering. Uh, <laughs> and, um, and they wrote back and said, hey, look, we have uh, we have Marco Polo 2 now. Which I did not know they were they they were bringing. So that's really cool. Yeah, they just they literally launched it like the day after our Marco Polo stream, and we had no idea that was going to happen. They must publicize somewhere their sort of list of things they're trying to get on the site, but uh, I don't know where that is. They they have in they have in well in news and stuff they do definitely have um yeah that you can get updates. I know that the crew is is being alpha tested at present. Um, where is it? Uh, I am sent. Uh, yeah, they have a news section, but I can, and they have an alpha system. But you have to have played so like five hundred different games. No, not different games. You have to play like thirty different games and have five hundred play sessions to become an alpha tester. Wow. And despite using BGA constantly since lockdown started, well, not lockdown anymore, but since you know social distancing started, um, I've only I've only played like a couple of hundred, I think, <laughs> which is two two hundred seventy two. I've played. This but is, you have uh, to a lot more than that. Yeah. So we got Jay Hill in chat saying instant coffee is an abomination, which he's bang on right about. But that's <sighs> a nice segue into something that we might have been wrong about because I got told off by Dustin Turner on the comments in our Kickstarter stream. He says the Reckoners is actually really, really good fun and that we were too <laughs> negative about it. So, I'm, you know, I th it got me thinking, actually, maybe I don't caveat up front enough just how sort of light a review that is it's definitely not a game review we've barely read the rule books and you can't review a game from the rule book anyway you really you can get an impression of whether you think you'll like it or whether you think it'll be any good but it's, um, it's, a, it's a kickstarter commentary that's that's what yeah, it is yeah, you know it's and um and it's always opinion based i mean it's about as subjective as anything can get <laughs> i'm attempting to balance our audio a bit more effectively i think i might be very quiet you might be very loud uh, chat, let me know. <laughs> big personality. Coffee bag is to coffee what instant tea is to tea. 
I mean, I, I actually, I'm, I'm, I consider myself a big coffee fan, and I'm not opposed to instant coffee because, like, it's fine. I'll let you in on a little secret, gang. I think it vastly improves instant coffee if you mix the, if you. This is only possible, by the way, I think, if you take milk in your coffee, but you could potentially do it with cold water. But you mix the milk and the instant coffee first, and then add the hot water to that. I find that vastly improves it. I bet you're also one of those people who puts the milk and tea first, you... No, nope. it's not necessary <laughs> with a proper tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of people who think tea bags are also an abomination. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're fewer and far between than people who hate instant coffee. I do have an espresso machine which I use for all my coffee needs these days. Because as I've gotten older, I've decided I don't like big mugs of coffee anymore. I now just like a short, sharp, strong coffee. I like a pint of coffee. <laughs> still. <laughs> I'm still wishing Restoration Games would have gotten hold of Hero Quest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think we all wish that a little bit. But I, I, I think I, I think Mike was a bit was rather... Chris thinks I should have been more excited. Uh, I think you should be more excited. Yeah. To be fair, I I was very excited about the. What was I excited about? Uh, no, to be fair, <laughs> I I could have been more excited about the um, the miniatures. That's true because they actually look really nice, and I think the thing is, and I the think art in general. Yeah, the art in ge- well, I have a real nostalgia for that like old eighties like dirty fantasy art. You know, like the the piece on the front of the box for me is like sort of perfect nostalgia fantasy art and so by shining it up i think that it will appeal to people now who don't have that nostalgia more but for me i like it less if that makes sense but but what yeah but what did you want did you just want it to be exactly the same like a total reprint uh no i didn't want it at all (laughs) (laughs) no 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 what you know what i mean like what what would the point of them not changing anything whatsoever Almost not. Well, to be fair, it looks like aside from the art and the miniatures, they haven't changed anything whatsoever. Well, yeah, and I, and I wish they had. That's why I'm disappointed in it, the lack of uh, updated rules. But I think that as an actual production, it looks like it's going to be really good. And I think it's actually priced reasonably fairly as well. I mean, like people pay hundreds, well, hundred pounds, hundred twenty pounds for a second-hand copy of the original Hero Quest that's beat up. So paying a hundred dollars mm. for a brand new copy seems reasonable. I mean, people have <laughs> people have deep deep nostalgia for this game you know um but i we played it obviously on the channel which wasn't a series that you actually got to be a part of chris so i'm, I'm wondering when the last time you played it was Ooh, uh, oh i actually can remember it would have been christmas day um oh my god I, it was in that house which means it was how long ago was that god um i'm gonna estimate about about nine years ago seven years probably 20 yeah about seven or eight years ago eight years ago we'll say eight in the middle eight years ago yeah because <laughs> i played it uh, i played it a couple of years ago on the channel we played an actual so i have three physical copies of hero quest right but uh one of them is complete but the miniatures are painted horribly i say horribly like a child who very much loved the game right um and the other set is incomplete and then i've got michael's copy here as well michael from the channel i've got his copy here as well which has is complete and in good condition and has one of the expansions in it as well and then but then also i, I played it on tabletop simulator with paul grogan during lockdown actually and we had this wonderful chap whose name i'm totally blanking on and i was literally just trying to look it up and i'm so sorry because he was brilliant as um more car so i noticed in the trailer whether they call him volcar no, Zargon, they called him. That's what yeah, he was Zargon. always called in North America. In the America, US, always, yeah. yeah. Zargon, yeah. yeah. And then if you're in the UK, he was Morcar. But yeah. uh, this guy, I think his name was Ryan. And I'm so sorry to him because he did an absolute wonderful job of playing Morcar. And he had, a, he had a, a cloak on and everything and he was being all theatrical. You know, but uh, the thing is, at the end of the day, it's it's the gameplay is so dated. It's so dated. And I think... I think I think that unless you're playing with tiny kids, it's like even this amazing performance couldn't save it. You know, um, it's... See, it was a lot. It was a lot of our first first introduction to searching for secret doors and traps and yeah. searching for treasure and and uh, you know, and a bundle of rags on the floor. You find behind a you behind a flagstone. You find a a bottle of bubbling liquid. Take the hell. You know, it's it's. Mm-hmm. 
It's 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 our first introduction yeah. to that kind of that kind Absolutely. of game. Absolutely. Well, it's the first game I can remember actually having, yeah. which is a board game with miniatures, right? You know, I had Warhammer and I had Necromonda yeah. and all that kind of st- games workshop stuff, but I didn't have like board games with miniatures, you know. I had uh, I had I had some dungeon crawling games as well. I had that Sorcerer's Labyrinth or there were Sorcerer's Cave we looked at. Oh yeah. But, yeah. You know, which is not really a dungeon crawler, but you know, it's 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 an adventure it's an adventure game which has revealing of tiles and things. Anyway, the point is, you know, yeah, and it was absolutely fantastic back then, but it just really doesn't hold up. You know, that's the, I think only nostalgically. Yeah, I I really enjoyed playing it when I played it eight years ago. We I played it with my sister and her husband on mm-hmm. Christmas Day, and it was just such a lovely experience. Which uh, which it, role were you playing as? I I played more car because right. I'm pretty sure. Because it meant I could control things. Because I remember the rules better. Yeah. It was possibly the first time I ever played the game with the rules correctly. Because I was just taught by my older siblings and potentially my mom, my, my mom and, and they clearly hadn't read the rules thoroughly because <laughs> um because I, like, I remember there's something like every single time you search if there's no if there's no search um if there is no text you're meant to draw a wandering you're meant to draw a wandering monster card i think or you're meant to draw like a from the treasure deck and it might be wandering monster mm-hmm. um and i we never did that we always just like oh, there's, there either is treasure or there isn't treasure and i that was so i was so I think the game is actually better than the version of it we played. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I this, loved it. I mean, I don't actually have any problem with the the sort of the simplicity of a lot of it. You know, I like, I would like, you know, to have a, a really simple dungeon crawler in my collection that's just sort of basic adventuring fun. I only really have two or three major criticisms of Hero Quest, and one is that the I think that the more car role is just not interesting enough. To sustain a, a particularly well, long not, game, of none it. of them are interesting. There's no, there's no, ta- there's no choices to be made. There's no, there's no <laughs> interesting, ta- there's no tactics in, in play. Maybe the wizard has a bit of tactics because he's so, he's so fragile. But a huge that's part of it. it is, uh, yeah, well, exactly. I mean, that that that's another problem because you can't even choose the order in which you t- you take actions. You know, as the heroes, and that's a huge problem, I think. But what's or that's then it's not a huge problem. It's just a huge missed opportunity to add some strategic decision making. You know. Um, but what's, uh, I think, you know, obviously the role to move is problematic, but the thing is as well, like, there's, for the heroes, for the players at least, there's the joy of discovery, right? That's one of the huge fun parts. You round the corner, mm-hmm. you don't know what more cars going to put out, you know, or you do a search for a secret door, you don't know what you're going to find. And there's literally areas of the game as well where you find a secret door and it leads to a dead end and there's nothing there, you know? Yeah. So, like, you find, so, and I, you know, that sounds like a total bummer, but also, if you know that not every secret door is a portal to magical riches that's also furthers that joy of discovery and excitement and the more car roll doesn't get any of that because they've just got the manual in front of them you know yeah all they do is they only do it the characters just move, they just move and attack that's what they're doing really isn't it um which mm. isn't really interesting i guess i guess you could visit you could like pull monsters back so they have to. Oh yeah, I don't know. There's no, yeah, there's no interesting decisions you made. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's very few with the players as well, unfortunately. But I feel but... I feel you could easily modify the rules a little bit, or they think which is what they should have done to make. I mean, the people are still saying there's going to be modified rules, but yeah. I don't know where they're getting this information yeah. from. Well, that was the main thing. Yeah, a lot of people are claiming there's going to be modified rules, and I just haven't seen them anywhere. Maybe they're assuming it because there's the stretch goals of a new scenario book and stuff. Maybe that's why. Um, and the original designer is on board, so maybe maybe that's I don't know. Well, I uh, one of the things I picked up from um, when we played on TTS with Paul Grogan was that there was an enormous amount of work that fans have done to change the rules and make it feel more interesting or more modern. And I don't know how successful those fan ver- rule sets have been. But you know they must have they they must be working on them for like thirty years. So I think if if you don't even take a look and see if there's something interesting there to be had, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice with this reprint. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is actually not available in the UK, by the way, which is something we were not I was not aware of when you made that stream. Yeah. Um, it's only US shipping. You can also get it shipped to Canada for I think one hundred and thirty dollars, which is ridiculous. Um. But Jimmy of Firestorm Card, Firestorm Games, Firestorm Cards. Yep, one of our locals down in Basingstoke. 
Hey Jimmy, yeah, free he... plug. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been very kind, and he's uh, he's organised a um, he's planning on doing a essentially he's essentially planning on buying a bunch of them and getting them uh, for as many people who are interested, um, mm. and and send them out to us. And he's put a full breakdown of his costs, and he's like his admin fee is like tiny. <laughs> it's like he's got a full well, breakdown of his cost there, and he's basically doing us all real solid for those of us who do want it. So if you are looking for it here in the UK, Jimmy Chung from Firestorm Cards is the way to go. It seems that well, way. Well, yeah. he's, yeah. he's the only way to go. Yeah. <laughs> if, well, a he's, uh, just, if, a, if a competitor jumps up, I'm sure then, then go to him. You're welcome to go to them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all of my experiences in dealing with Jimmy have always been very, very positive. Um, he's yeah. he's a really nice guy. So. Yeah, I actually made my first purchase ever from Firestorm Cards the other day, and well, I said the other day about a week and a half ago, and it was all good. I'm trying I to remember. Worry. I mean, I, th- I got I know Jimmy actually because I used to play X Wing at his shop. Um, oh yeah. But I've you know I keep bumping into him at conventions and things like that. I think I bought Great Western Trail from him. I buy a lot of card sleeves from him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just bought the uh, look. I've just been learning this, and th- this is actually a nice segue into what we're doing this evening. Which is so getting back on track, but if you'll look, I've been learning this, and I've just bought the expansion for it from Jimmy, and one of the designers on this is in fact a designer on Marco Polo too. How about that? Bar- barrage. Barrage. Yeah. No so idea it's what that is. heard of it. Designed by Tommaso Battista and Simone Luciani, who's the co-designer on Marco Polo too. <laughs> hey, it's a it's a it's a it's about a wait for Euro resource management game, Chris. It's crazy. I'm like, I haven't actually had a chance to play it yet. I'm lear- That's why it's here in the pile of games I'm learning. But uh, it's got this crazy system where you basically unlock these action spaces that uh, you're going to have. And you fit them into this wheel. And the wheel rotates, changing what actions you have access to, like, every turn. Oh, um, what's it called did that? Um, Barbarians, the Invasion. Ooh. Did something a bit like that. It had, like, the vol- rotating volcano piece. But I think that so was like, communal, right? Whereas in this, everyone has their own individual oh yeah, one of yeah, these. That, that, that was communal. Okay, oh, they didn't realize it's individual. Okay. Yeah, each player has one, and then you're buying these like technology tokens to put on it, which then you so you're building this rondel of actions that you have. So it's not deck building; it's rondel building. <laughs> I guess so. I don't really know. Like I said, I'm still reading the rules. It is a weight four out of five, so it's not like it's not like a breeze through the rules, but. Uh... I just noticed Eddie said, yeah, but Hasbro Pulse has a history of delivering and other issues. Did you mean to say of not delivering and other issues? Well, I see a lot of people saying as well, like, why is Hasbro crowdfunding this thing? And, you know, while that is a reasonable point, I suppose, they are also trying to gauge interest, I guess. You know, I, I mean... They're I... trying to gauge interest, and also it's because that's what we've, we've that's what us consumers have allowed them, these people to do. Yeah. Over the years, we've we've enabled them. Yeah. Um, I mean, in fairness, the one thing I'd say, the one thing I was, the one saving grace is they, it, it's not as if they had a funding goal of 10 grand. They actually wanted a million dollars worth of, <laughs> worth of interest before they were willing to print. Yeah. <laughs> Have they, do we, do we know if they've reached it? They were, about this morning, they were at 800,000. Yeah, so they um, So I imagine, that I'm going to, I'm just going to quickly check. I imagine they're already there. If I Eddie says guess. they've got, had a bit of a reputation for, Altering the shipping cost after the fact, and not honoring issues that have occurred during shipping. It's, it is. It is now. It is on. It is past its target. It's eighty four thousand. Just on, just under eighty five thousand dollars over target now, hmm. with almost all the time to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. With uh, it's been two days. Forty four. Forty four hours. T- Forty four days. Ten hours and a minute to go. <laughs> <laughs> um. I will look if 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 Jimmy can can sort out a big thing. From from the US, I'm definitely gonna get myself a copy for nostalgia's sake, because I just want to have yeah, it. That's so fair. Does that? I mean, I, I feel absolutely. It's, it's like, people people yeah. are like saying it's crazy to buy, and I'm like, well, look, sod, sod off. I I'm willing to pay the money, and I have and I, and I want it. So go. Yeah, away. I mean, to be fair, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I've got, I I feel absolutely no need to buy it. That's because I own it. Um, I also think I, I own it as well, but, but I still want it. <laughs> you actually have one of the old copies. Yeah, you knew that. I've got, I've got, I've got. Not only do I have the old copy, I've got one of the old copies. I've got all the expansions, all the European available expansions, including um, the Ogre Kingdoms one, the Ogre Horde one, which is like sells for like four hundred quid or something if it's brand new and shrink. Mine's not brand new and shrink. I don't even have the box, but I have all, the, I have all the content from it. Well, you know what, Chris, you're <laughs> allowed to buy whatever you want, exactly. and if it makes you happy, exactly. it makes you happy. Personally, exactly. I wouldn't. 
But, uh, you know, that's my particular stance that's on the it. matter. Some, you know, some, for some people, this is the thing, some people think we're mad full stop for spending this much money on board games. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think people are mad for some of the things they buy. <laughs> it's just, it is, people have, stuff has a value you put upon it, right? Yeah, well, exactly. And if, uh, I hope that uh, it brings you much happiness when it arrives. I hope so too. It probably won't. It'll probably sit unplayed in the shelf, but <laughs> I, uh, I'll definitely, no, I, you know, I, I, I really want to make an effort with it and I really want to kind of actually paint the miniatures. Um, because, you know, that's why I, that's all my memory, all my best, my best childhood memories are painting hero quest minis and playing with them. So I'd love to actually, um, yeah, I'd love to actually break my, my history of not painting all the minis I get <laughs> and paint these ones. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll continue to invest in things like Sundrop. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hate well, I don't hate Sundrop. It's so expensive and doesn't look it doesn't look good enough for well, I don't think it looks good enough for the va- for the price. But if you value it, feel free to buy it. That's kind of the that's kind of the the, uh, the theme of, the of this discussion, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a bunch of people were posting on he was like he was trying to gauge interest at uh, Jimmy on on the on Facebook and loads of people lots, lots of people like me said, "Oh yeah, I'd be interested. Thanks very much." And the, the bunch of people were saying, no, at that price, no, and all this. And I'm like, okay, then why are you commenting? This He's he's trying to gauge interest. You're being super unhelpful yeah. by saying no. It's like, who says that? Who does that? Does anyone want to business? This is the, uh, no. this is actually, well, that's funny because this is literally the, uh, the the Kickstarter, the fun, the first rule of Kickstarter is don't be a jerk clause, right? Which is, if you don't have something nice to say, don't fund the campaign and move on, you know? Exactly. <laughs> It's like it's like, oh god. You know, yeah, it's anyway. it's it's legitimate to have criticisms and complaints if you're backing the product, right, or getting involved in the purchase. If you don't want to yeah. do it, then just don't say anything and move on. Yeah, it's well, but, but, be but even even more so on a on a thread that's about someone trying to sort out a problem for because basically yeah. we have the problem. People like me got excited and were like, oh my god, I can't buy it. And this guy comes along and says, oh, "Okay, I've got a solution here. If you're willing to, if you're willing to go to, to do this," mm. and a bunch of people are going, "No, <laughs> that's so unhelpful." <laughs> well, should we uh, should we get to gaming, Chris? Sh- no, let's keep talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to change the art on screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, go on. Let's play uh, Marco Polo. Let's see if I can be the camel lord and win the game. Yeah. I also I have want to, that. Oh, you're, you're deciding character first, which actually is quite good Bing. because I won't have to choose from two. What do they do? All right, so here we've got uh, the beginning of the game, and we're going to pick a. So if you guys were here for Marco Polo, this is very much the same thing. If you don't know what it is, this game is a a Euro game. It's a sort of action selection dice rolly type game where we'll be rolling five dice and then we'll be alternating taking actions with our five dice on the board and there's essentially sort of two functions really with the dice will be accruing resources and using those resources to move around the board and score points um, and i'll probably explain a bit more as we go along but the main difference for those of you that know marco polo between this and marco polo is this little scory guy in the middle here this is the the shields and you'll see nine different symbols and little trading posts being put down on each symbol as you build your trading posts in the different cities, each city has a symbol that is relevant to it. So as you collect the different symbols, you will, in the end of the game, advance up this score track for each one that you have. There are also ways to score additional shields. They're called shields. There are also ways to score different sh- additional shields during the game, which will be added to your total. But you still get points for scoring contracts and things like that. But I think shields is the main end game component, isn't it? That and the the guild seals. We can talk about there those are, later. There are points for the most contracts again. Although actually, I don't know how many it is. I assume it's seven again. Let me open the rules and go to end game scoring. So I can choose from Monge Khan, who ignores oases when traveling. When you travel, you Fine. can move passes past oases as if they were not there. They do not cost any additional movement. You must still pay the travel cost as normal. You can end your movement on an oasis if you choose. After moving, you receive a bonus for each oasis you move past or ended on. Once per oasis for each movement. For each different oasis, you score three victory points and receive either two coins or a camel. Ooh. We've got Daewoo. 
Daewoo can use the Guild Seal's action with only one die instead of two. So Guild Seals are a pretty new thing in this game. Well, they're not in the other game. They're a whole new thing. But uh, the action spaces are down here, and it takes two dice to pick up a Guild Seal normally. And then you can complete the Guild Seal to unlock additional paths on the board, uh, the river paths, as well as gaining an income every turn from your shield. It says, you receive one jade whenever you improve a guild seal. So that's unlocking the the income on the shield. It also says, during final scoring, you receive one free plus one shield. Cool. And then there's Isabella Donati, who I remember being absolutely nuts when we played with her previously. It says, you receive a bonus each time you roll a die, which includes a black die. And based on the number you roll, you get this bonus. When rolling dice at the beginning of each round, if you roll doubles, you can complain, you can claim a bonus from the bottom in addition to the normal bonuses for each die separately. So you'll gain, for double ones or sixes, you gain jade, two and five is silk, and three and four is gold. So she just gets tons of bonus resources. I like all of these, Chris. They're all great. I don't want They're all so OP. They're all so OP, yeah. I don't want to... Uh, don't make me choose... Well, I can choose for you if, if you like first, if you like. Um, the, <laughs> yeah, you'll just have to tell me, like, I want this one. Don't pick that one. <laughs> well, the thing is, I've been Isabella Donati previously and Mongeki Kan previously. So I might pick Daewoo, because he's the only one I haven't played before. Would you like me to read out final scoring, just, just to make it clear? Yes. Um, so, final scoring, the following are scored. For each improved skill seal shown in your gold card that you've acquired, score the indicator points. For each different shield and cities, with well, your training post, we, we talked about that already. Um, score according to that scroll. Um, every two goods are worth a point, or to buy, uh, by default. Camels are not worth anything. And for every ten money, you get one point. And then whoever has the most contracts completed scores eight points. Second most gets four points. However, a two-player game, second place is not awarded. This is important for me to remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who are you grabbing? So I just uh, I just had to look at the bottom here, Chris. I was like, ooh, strategy tips. Quick, give me a tip. And it's like, <laughs> there are none. <laughs> uh, it's because the game's in beta, probably. Uh, so I'm going to take Daewoo, because he's the only one I haven't played here. Yes. Cool. I think it, I, was, I, I, I wanted Isabella from the start, because she seems OP, even for even for OP. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but this feels... I don't see how anyone could not think that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to go with this goal card here, team, because it kind of, it looks doable for me. Let's find out. So you can see my goal card is set up here now, and Chris is still choosing. Do you want to pick one or two? Just one. Just one in this one. Mine are all, like, so similar to each other. <laughs> Um, I think I'd pick this one probably, but I'm just checking. Can everyone see okay? Do you need me to make uh, Marco Polo a little bigger or something? Uh, do let me know if you want the game to be sized up in the in the stream. I'll see what I can do. I can reposition us. I just try to... It's always a bit tricky with BGA because I don't quite know what interface they're going to use. I previously had us on top of one another, but there's a lot of empty space below your player board, so I've just snuck you in there, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I have to get compensation. This didn't happen to me the first time we played. I kept getting awesome stuff. Oh, no, this isn't compensation. This is for the roll, is it? Uh, let's see. You've got 11... 15, 16. Yeah, I don't think you get compensation. I think you're probably getting... Oh, I'm getting goods. double twos. Is that it? Yeah, double, double twos. twos. Yeah. So I can either have... Um, what's that? Lore? Is that points? The laurel wreath? Presumably it's points. Yeah, the laurels are points. Wait, so I can have points or... I'm, I'm being offered two points or a silk. Why am I being offered two points? That's what I'm not understanding. Uh, 
Uh, that would only make sense if it was either or. I thought it was in addition to. It does say in addition to, doesn't it? If you roll doubles, you can choose to claim the normal bonus from the two dice separately or claim a single oh. doubles. Right, so. right, okay. Oh, so I can have two points for the two, for, to the two, two one yeah. for each two, or I can combo them into getting a silk. Sorry, that's my bad. I literally read it out wrong <laughs> just moments no, that's, ago. That's, that's cool. I'll, I'll I'll grab the silk. I need one for my contract. Oh, that's sensible. I don't want to play against <laughs> sensible people. I want to play against maniacs. <laughs> uh, maniacs wrong. who want to move six spaces all at once for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it me to start? Uh, oh, it says no, you. It's me, no, it's you. It's me because I'm I'm so just so brilliant so i guess i get to go first uh, <laughs> um oh no i'm paralyzed by indecision because this game seems slightly more complicated than the first one that sounded sarcastic and yet it wasn't <laughs> oh god no <laughs> yeah this Secret one's definitely a, a thinky game so we can hang out and chit chat chat while uh while we're doing our thinking because... So I'm gonna. No, okay, yeah. Sorry. No, I was just gonna um... say because it's super chill. This game, it's. Uh, I really like it actually. I've played this one a whole bunch in lockdown. Stop spoiling your opinion. What? A... It okay. Has to be a mystery. <laughs> Let's talk about something else then. Um... Must be a mystery. Look, Tristan sent me his latest game for a review copy. Sixteen sixty-five Saint Elmo's Pay. Fifteen sixty-five. You're a century out. Yeah, that was close enough. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, this is the follow up to ten sixty six tears for too many mothers, which Ollie and I played on the channel. So I'm keen to get that opened up and uh, have a look and see how it combos with the other one and whatnot. It's got a, a robust solo mode as well, which I'm I'm quite keen about. Hey, is anyone else worried about how long Chris is thinking? Because I don't intend to think this long. <laughs> I've never played this game before, ever. <laughs> this is fair. Um, I'm like, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. That is completely fair. You're just making me nervous because I'm like, oh no, <laughs> he's doing a really good brain. <laughs> I, I'm i going to... Can I say... Start... Oh yeah, so if if I had... Let's just say, for example, if I had um a a rooster as a plus one i think so, I, I think i asked the exact question before we start the stream but i'm asking it again because i've forgotten the answer if i had a rooster as a plus one if i had both rooster cities would that would, be plus would that would that would they each count double would that be plus two for endgame scoring yes i think actually i said i was i i think i said i don't think so but i'll have to check and then i didn't check so now i'm checking I actually have the rule book here because I actually have the game, as has been made clear. I have a German copy of the game with the English rule book because I bought Although it. Although you don't, you, you don't need to have the games plan BGA though because no, they have bought the rights. Yes, they have adequately compensated the creators and publishers of the game to facilitate what we're doing, and Chris pays them for their service. Right I do actually. That's true. Yes. And it's very expensive at twenty pounds a year. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much ready to go, but I would like to only ask this question before I move. Before you move. Oh, are you moving, are you? Way to give it away! <laughs> no, no. Now I shall use this information against you. <laughs> in some way. Chat, let me know how to use this information against Chris. So, let's have a look. For each different shield on cities... Yeah, where's the... Um, score points as shown on the shield track. All of your plus one shields are counted here as well. Yes, but what I want. During final scoring, you score points for having, you know, during final scoring for each of these shields, if you have at least one trading post in a matching city, you receive a plus one at shield least one. icon. Yes, I believe it is not cumulative. Yeah, so it's just the one you need then. Yes. Okay, it cool. Certainly I'm seems gonna, that way. I'm gonna go here. But I'm more than happy for chat to correct me if I am wrong, which, you know, 
It's I want to go to get black done. Oh no, it's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, that's um okay, fine. Fine, Ooh. a one. Blue. My turn. Hey, I have three camels. You are the camel king. No, you're not. I have three camels too. I want one of these. Where does it... I need it to show me the guild seals. Are they anywhere? Yeah, they're over on the the, the, the left. What, what yeah, but uh, sorry. The guild, shield, the guild seals are actually also little tokens with a cost mm -hmm. to flip them over. Ho uh, hover over it on the, on the action space on the left of the board. I'm definitely hovering. So... Uh, oh, I have to hover over the actual guild symbol. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so um, the iconography of this is thus. You pay the goods on the left, then you get to improve the symbol, which will give you the reward at the bottom. And you'll see most of them... Oh. It's just showing the reward at the bottom on these. So I think they all come with an income as well. They should all have an income. Yes, they they should all have an income. Well, two camels, that's a pretty good income, and it's expensive. Two victory points, that sounds tasty. I want all the things. I think that... I'm going to take my three and put it down here because I can do that. Because you can do that. Why won't it let me do that? Oh, yeah, then it's like, what do you want to take? And I'm like, oh, clicking on the, clicking on the screen is hard. <laughs> I'm taking the shirt. The shirt is mine. The shirt. Oh, it's only actually okay. one. I thought it was. A, I thought it was two dice in that space. Uh, it is for everyone but me because I am Dewu. Oh, I see. Uh, wow. I'm going to think about buying broken. a black die. Do I broken want character to... is broken. Broken character is broken. Uh, three camels for a black die. It's probably stupid, but I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking I might do it with my next my next move as well. <laughs> Because I like black dice. So you I guys like black dice and I can that. Sorry. <laughs> so we can see here. So I can improve this symbol for two silk and seven coins. In return, you'll receive two victory points immediately and in every future round. So the bottom is the income, right? So ideally, improving that would be beneficial to me. And also, you can see the top part says you've now unlocked the shirt. So you can have the travel on the, the shirt. Or rather, sorry, this is the Tailor's Guild. So I will be able to use the waterways that belong to the Tailor's Guild. But that's only once you flipped it, right? Yeah, that's only once it's been improved. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to play a one. I think. Or should I play the two, actually? I might play the two. This is nice, hanging out, playing Marco Polo 2. It's five rounds, by the way, guys, and then the game's over. So I'm going to go and grab some um, pepper and some jade. Seems legit. I'm going to trade in this uh, contract. And they got me another contract because that was one of the things on the contract. Broken OP! It is broken OP. This is actually true. Um, I'm going to pass. Okay. I'm winning. 6 0. <laughs> Everybody, look. Look at me. I'm the winner. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Call it now! <laughs> uh, let's see, I'd started to concoct a plan in my head. 
And now the plan's they gone. Realize you couldn't. Partly awry. This wouldn't have happened if we played Hero Quest. You're probably right. Oh my god, Chris, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is the worst time in the world to have stuff like, um, to have stuff like, 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 like a 200 pound hero quest showing up when, you know, we've got new, new console generation coming out and new graphics cards being released. <laughs> this is an expensive time to be alive. <laughs> Hallenbeck, where is Michael and Ollie gone? Um, well... What happened was, Michael and Ollie did not agree with me that Hero Quest was the best game ever. And so, and so we had to... <laughs> we had to do away with them. Um, <laughs> um, they're still around. They're just, they're just, um, they haven't been available for streams as of late because they've both been incredibly busy, unfortunately. Uh, lockdown seems to have freed up a bit of time for Mike and I. <laughs> and seems to have had the opposite effect on them. I would um, venture that uh, lockdown has actually not freed up time. It's limited my time so that I can't really do all the editing I used to do. So now I've got more time for streaming because I'm doing less editing. Um, so he's got more time. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like basically what I said. <laughs> um Michael, I'm ho I think we're hoping Michael will be able to have some free up some time soon. Um, he his uh. He's had some. He's had some specific things that are keeping him busy of late. Uh, I was actually best him the other day, trying to organise something with him. Um, not non-game related, but hopefully, yeah. But hopefully, he'll be more free lately. Ollie, I think, is busy a bit more long term. Um, although I'm not sure. We'll have to see if we can get him on something soon as well. I quite like to do a big, a big four-player game soon if we can. It would be awesome to. I mean, do you know what I'd love to do, Chris? Is uh, Among Us. Have you seen that? I've heard of it, but I have not. I'm Googling it. You would speak. adore it. It's basically online oh, yeah. Steam social deduction. Oh, like, yes, let's do that. <laughs> it would be so good, but you need like 10 people to make it really good. It says, yeah, four to 10. Yeah. But yeah, I can imagine therefore 10 is better. Mm hmm. It's only four pounds. Yeah, it's a super indie game. I might just buy this here and now. <laughs> Live on stream. Mm <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'd be really keen to uh, to get the boys in, involved for that, but it's oh god, guys, I'm so sorry. My brain just was like, it's just doing too many things. It's trying to focus on too many things all at once, and it's like, what are you doing? Right, look, we're gonna do this thing, okay? Don't worry, I'm gonna get worse at the game as we go on. Cause I'm drinking cider, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Why god! You, you took care. Uh... Okay. And then we're just gonna. But prove that straight away bam yeah Ollie was saying to me like oh here quest was not my gateway into warhammer so i cut him down there and then <laughs> whilst playing whilst playing why hero quest is so great in the background on loop <laughs> <laughs> oh what do i want to do i don't like this game i do but i don't like this i don't like i just want to win i, just, I don't want to like have a challenge i just want to smash it <laughs> first time <laughs> we uh we also um i would point out as well guys obviously we haven't filmed anything in person since we march when we went into lockdown so you know a part of it has been sort of uh the, the i mean michael and ollie don't even really have webcams you know ollie doesn't have a webcam at all he's been trying to use the system that chris has used which is essentially plugging in his cell phone but ollie's got a garbage cell phone as well. Uh, uh, well I have I have had a couple very early in lockdown. I managed to have a couple of um, of online sessions with Ollie, um, and he 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 um, he he was using a webcam from I think like the nineties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so funny. <laughs> so it's sort of one of those things as well. And then you know, obviously, for the first few weeks, uh, months of lockdown as well, webcams are at a premium. They're still not cheap, you know. So it's just one of those things of sort of getting the technology together to make it work. And then also finding a mode, like if we were doing tabletop simulator, we'd probably have a lot more options. But part of the problem is that tabletop simulator just consumes 
GPU, which is the graphics processing unit, it just consumes it. So it's very difficult to stream and play at the same time. You know, so BGA, things like that, which are very low graphic intensity, are much, much higher quality when we're streaming. Chris, what did you do? Oh, yes, yeah, so you I went camels to get and the money. favor. So I got two camels and four, mo four money. Yeah, Heggers points out rightly, as we've, as we've mentioned before on the chat as well, that's also... Um, do you guys want the... Have you guys got the sound effects on for the game? I think they're not on. Here, I've put the sound effects on for the game. I quite I like, like them. them. They're quite... Oh, quite oh, they, now they, they're, they, probably, they, they're probably getting echo on you now. Damn it. Um, let me uh, turn you off and turn the computer sound on. Let me know, guys, if this is not ideal, and we'll see. Um, I quite like the sounds because they kind of... As, as Deborah said, they kind of replaced the tactile, almost yeah. nature of the board game. <laughs> yeah, I really like the sounds as well. So Mute I'm... Chris for the win. Hey, guys, earlier on, wasn't, didn't you earlier on say, like, if you played it and Chris wasn't there, did you really play? And now you're saying mute me for the Like, I feel you blow hot and cold on me. <laughs> <laughs> I find your, your friendship to be to be very inconsistent. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of mixed signals going on here. It's got to keep you on your toes, Chris. Um, but... Uh, uh, yeah, and the other, uh, uh, yeah, like we'd mentioned before on the on these streams, the other issue with, with um, tabletop sim, tabletop simulator, and everything else is that is obviously that not all the games are dev approved, and we just don't know how everyone feels about them. And I've sent out Which several we... emails asking people about how they feel about us using it, and all the responses have I've I've barely had any responses. So it seems almost like it's not particularly lucrative to do. Well, word, word in the street is that they don't mind, but um, we've tried to be as conscientious as possible about it. We've only we've done what we, we've done Nemesis with um, with a representative from Awaken Realms and with Adam as well. So that was obviously legit. We only did War of the Ring, and we both own a copy. And we did reach out and not get and get a reply. So we felt that was that was fairly above board. We felt we'd done our best to. Um, be conscientious about using it. I mean, I, I'm personally of the opinion that if you own the game, you have the right to use tabletop sim because you've paid for the game already. But people may not share that opinion. I don't know. And definitely, if every if every member of the party owns their own copy, surely you can use tabletop sim. I mean. There, well, yeah, you... it's a, a lot of it is really sort of how you feel about your own sort of moral stance on the matter, really, isn't it? Yeah, but I think that's perfectly reasonable. So you took a, a gold and two camels, is that right? Two gold, two camels, and seven coins. Oh, you did, the, uh, you the, did the you did the trade. J trade. J J J J did. Would love to see you all play 878 Vikings when this pandemic is over. Hallenbeck, that'd be I would just that, love that'd to... Be, I think 882 players would be a lot, though, to play Vikings. Um... 800 and... We'd, be, we'd <laughs> need 874 more players, which could be a problem. <laughs> uh, wait, I, I, haven't, I haven't played that game, but I'm aware of it. I Yeah, I've not even heard of that. I think you probably have. I'd be surprised I if you have. haven't. I, I think you've probably seen it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i yeah i just i just love to play a physical game with more than one other person you know <laughs> yeah. um okay I think although i am enjoying these these long campaigns that i've been streaming i really hope everyone else is sort of enjoying these too because it's obviously not our normal content but it's been nice to really get stuck into these campaigns okay i think i'm gonna move again because yeah i'm gonna move again we're going over here, get the five money. Oh, I get to get contracts now. Oh, exciting. Oh, I yes. Guess. I didn't think I, I don't think I mentioned that. That's lovely. I am one happy jelly spoon. Um, they both seem really hard to do. But one gets me two J's and the other one gets me um, a black die. And black die is so, so nice. And I've got a nice gold ability generator. Yeah, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab that one. Huzzah! It me. I was going to go and uh, take that spot, Chris. So you gone and took the spot I wanted to go into. Yes! I thwarted you! 
at your own game, literally, because I don't have this game. Well, that's fine, <laughs> because now you've taken it. I'm not really worried about going in there. So I'm going to go down here and take this, I think. Are you heading south, southwards? Nope. You're heading southwest? Uh, this is literally a sequel to the first game where we're all in Beijing now. <laughs> <laughs> we're heading back to Venezia. I done take another seal. You're really going for these seals. Are these seals the secret to victory in this version of the game? No, they're just cheap for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I get jade every time I flip one. <laughs> how and do you, they've got how, income how, on them, so I'm like, I, if I get them now, it'll maximize profit. How do you still have three dice left? Um, oh, sugar. Uh, pass. I forgot it was still me. <laughs> I'm gonna it, get it me. three gold for a six. Seems a good deal. Pass. I have no idea what you did. What did you do? I took th took three gold from... Ah, yes, Zana with your Zanadu. Zanadu. The Xanadu action. Very good. Which is uh, probably the best action I've ever seen on a on a um, city space. I always thought the city spaces in the first Marco Polo aren't like particularly exciting. I almost never use them. I've still got pretty... like a bunch of dice left and like literally no plans to use them. <laughs> um, I... well, I'm heading south on a white camel. Feels good to be out on the. <laughs> Nothing rounds the camel. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go down here. Ah, you have to pay too money. Why can't I move? Oh. You have no money to pay the tolls. Oh, undo. I am poor. <laughs> 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 Alright. Oh, I need some more money. Okay. Uh, new plan. We're going to take this five. We're going to bunk it down here. And then you may activate this city card up to one, two, or three times. Oh, I'm so going to activate could, it. You could, yeah, because you're limited by money, that's why. Yeah, two times. And I want one of these. And I want one of these. And now I'm going to trigger this guy here. That gets me f five money. So but now you, spent I, six, you spent four money to get them. <laughs> yeah, but I have more that I had. If you don't pay no tolls, we don't eat no rolls. All right, now I can do this thing, I think. Uh, by doing yes. it in this order, I've also gained an income, which is good. And I can take a contract. Which contract shall I take? I want the one with money on it. <laughs> And yes, we can see that the contract will not be replaced until I pass my main to main action. Yes. Okay. Oh, that one's better. I want that one. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, I was going to use this six to like pick up a a what am I trying to say here? Good lord, words. I was going to use this six to pick up a um. A contract, but I got to do that for free, which you already mentioned and I'd forgotten was a thing. So I suppose to play this six, I'm going to have to pay the money on it. So I literally can't put it in a space where I'd have to pay for it, which is a bummer. Oh, why did I spend three camels on this die when I don't even really need it for anything? I'll tell you what's always useful though, chat. Money. This is true in games and life, so I'll go down here. I'll get the camels and the, the coins. Yeah, that's always, a Khan's favor is always good. Yeah. Sweet. Pass. That is one fifth of the game done, just like that. Oh, exactly the same. Uh, oh my god, I can have the uh, silk that I want again. I will do that. That saves me a lot of effort. <laughs> Rolling double twos is helpful. I can also, I also roll double threes. Um, so I can either have two camels or a gold. I don't think I need a gold right now. 
I think I'll take two camels and be the king of the camels, the Lord Cam Cam Camel Lord, as is the word we use. Hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to immediately trade in this, and I can get two resources. And I should not have done this because I don't know what resources I want yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'll take the two resources that are mildly harder to get. I guess. Sure, why not? Um, and then, am I right in thinking if I take the jeweler guild seal, I also get three jade at the same time as taking it? Or am I is that saying I pay three no, jade? No, that's correct. You'll get three jade. But remember, you can only take each seal once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to, I'd have to play two fours, wouldn't I? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. In that case. Oh, no. Because I don't have enough camel. Okay, I might have to do this in a weird, in a weird way then. Okay, I'm going to go and get two camels with a bonus action. Spend two camels to turn this into a four. Bye, Eddie. Enjoy your meeting. Thanks for watching. Eddie, you're always going to meetings. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, Eddie. I'm going to go grab the seal with three jade. And then I'm going to trade in this for black die. So I traded in my contract. Huzzah! Happy for you. And then I'm going I'm to... I'm happy for him. I'm super mad. <laughs> I'm very popular. <laughs> <laughs> you are, actually, because you're paid to be at these meetings. So, like, how popular can you get? Like, we need him here so badly, we're going to pay him. It's good to have your time valued like that. This is truth. I actually, um, I'm just checking out some Monk Steam game on, Steam game on Steam. It basically, it looks like something like Battlestar Galactica, except instead of, like, you know, being turn-based, it's real-time, I assume. So you're all just running around the ship doing stuff. Chris, did you check out the uh, the building cards that are out this round? No, I didn't. You definitely I forgot, I forgot they changed. Is it uh, when you say I should have? Are you saying that I should have used it already? Yeah. How? The one on the right lets you take a guild seal with only one die. As you resolve a guild seal. Does that mean yeah, take yeah. one? Yeah, that's why it's pointing at the action space, isn't it? Oh. Uh, you can resolve a guild seal's action. There's uh, only one die. Oh but well. You have to pay a camel. So I saved a camel but lost a die. <laughs> Oh, actually, I don't have any camels. If you look, so <laughs> I guess I guess I would. It's a joke, on you. <laughs> well, I mean, no, but I wouldn't have been able to do it this turn, so it's fine. Oh, that's because yeah, I would have had a camel because the only reason I couldn't do it is because I had to spend. Oh, yeah, that's really annoying. That's very annoying. I've totally messed up that turn. Oh well. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? I, had, I, I've, I've triggered these two guild seals, and I'm like, job's done. <laughs> I need no further no further actions from me this game <laughs> <laughs> well that's crush that's crushing you know what actually happened I actually basically just um, wasted two dice <laughs> that's rather crushing oh well worse things have happened to people I'm sure I was just looking at it and thinking this is useless for me because I can do this anyway <laughs> yeah <laughs> Don't get the hump. <laughs> uh, well, I, can, I don't have any hump. I don't have any humps. Oh, sorry. Are, our <laughs> listeners are very funny. Oh my god. You talk. <laughs> to reuse an older joke. Yeah, let's not get the hump. Yeah. I have no camels, though, that's what I'm saying, so I can't get the hump. <laughs> I wish I could get some humps. That would be helpful. Okay. 
Right. I've got a, I've got a bit of a game plan forming here in my mind. Let's go down here and grab this. I need to do some contracts because otherwise I don't understand why it says on your space, Chris, that you have no shields. Number of visible shields. You should have at least one, right? Yes, I don't understand why I don't have one either. That is confusing. If I click on it, it says I have one, one point and you have two points. From that. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand what it's saying there. So I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> if you can't understand something, ignore it until it goes away. <laughs> Sound life advice. <laughs> We're just spooling out wisdom here on the Ready Steady Play stream. <laughs> you know. I uh, don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna, we should see if we can get a four-player game together on, like, BGA or something. Now that I've got this uh, Skype system set up, it would be cool to do that with the boys. I wonder what game we could play. That would be really good four players. I mean, I'd love to try and do Guards of Atlantis 2, but I just don't know if that would function, because it's obviously on Tabletop Simulator, isn't it? Um, Wasn't it? No, it was Tabletopia, I think. Was it Tabletopia? I wonder if that would work better. I think so. Oh, I've also got that abstract game, Mancala Stones, from Board and Dice that we should play on Tabletopia. They said that we could do that, so. Yes. I think they did. I'd have to double check. Gar oh, what Gar did you... Gar Guards of Atlantis definitely said we could. Yes, they were They were keen for us to play. I mean, I've still got their actual physical prototype here, which is breaking my heart. <laughs> you know? um, um, I, I took two um, silk and a camel. And I'm just making sure... I'm just trying to plan out the, re my, the rest of my turn so to speak mm -hmm. um, before I do anything drastico I mean as a general rule I prefer TTS to Tabletopia um, pass but uh, yeah. if it wasn't for the graphical issues for streaming you know it wouldn't be a problem but yeah I prefer, I prefer to well yeah, because Tabletopia is the same thing. It uses a physics engine, doesn't it? I think it does. Yeah. Let's say yes. Yeah, it's definitely got far fewer games available. I used Tabletopia a little bit at the very start of lockdown, but very quickly came to Board Game Arena. Which I assume existed before lockdown, and <laughs> just suddenly boosted boost in popularity. <laughs> oh, Chris, I made a boob too. Yes! I made the wrong choice. And that was very upsetting. To me. To I am me. delighted. Oh, I'm a plonker. Why am I such a plonker? Does anyone know the answer to that? <laughs> <laughs> votes in chat don't answer that <laughs> oh that's really upsetting though I'm hereby upset hmm oh god I am uh, well getting the ump I'm well getting the ump, in it. <laughs> okay, well, I sort of think I can still maybe pull this off. If I'm American, I plead the fifth. <laughs> I 
about why I'm such a prat. <laughs> no one knows. Many have tried to work it out. I'm good at other things, guys. I'm really good at hero quests. Because <laughs> it's mostly dice rolling. <laughs> I should, I should probably actually play my copy with Deborah at some point to decide if I can, if I should really get the new one. <laughs> I mean, probably not a terrible idea. Where'd you go? I went to the top. Ledger, took two camels and a gold. Why can't I see that? Oh, I see it. Yeah, I see it. A ledger? You don't get that joke. I think I do. That feels familiar. A ledger? Maybe I don't. Oh, hey, a look, ledger. I can do a thing. Should I do this thing? I think, uh... I think for now I should just pass. Like a coward! <laughs> I've been called out. Right, I'm going to get more gold, because I need more gold. And I'm going to flip, you flip this. That gold action space is actually great. I wish I had it that. It is. It's you so should've great. Come, you should have come to Xanadu with me. This is true, I should. It's so lovely here. Isn't that an ABBA song, or am I crazy? Are you thinking of Waterloo? Xanadu. <laughs> 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 I'm sure there's a song called Xanadu as well, but yeah, I think I was thinking of Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they lose a famous battle at Xanadu? <laughs> I can't lose a game to a man who confused Waterloo with Xanadu. <laughs> this would be unacceptable. <laughs> hey, listen, I want everyone to never again sing that song with the correct lyrics, okay? Everybody just sing Xanadu. You'll never be able to unhear it. Uh, I think I'm going to passy pass. I was considering buying a black die, but I can do it next turn if I really want to. I don't think you're going to get three black dice in one turn. I might! <laughs> it is possible. It just seems unlikely. Okay. Here? Ooh, Khan's favor. This? Okay, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to make use of this after all! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I, it still relies on the die. Oh, I see. So I can still only have... Oh, then I picked the wrong... I, I, I made a boo-boo. Oh, well... I took the silk in preparation to get the uh, other one. That's okay. I could spend... I suppose I could actually spend a... I can't now. I can't, I can't undo now. I was about you to can't say, I undo. Could, I could re-roll. Re yeah, there's no re-roll. So let me... I can I skip. Or I can... Player age. That's it. Um, so the first one is a shield and five money every turn. And the second one is... Spicer Guild is just a jade every turn. Jade's pretty useful for traveling, isn't it? I'm now literally reading the lyrics to Waterloo and just imagining it Xanadu. It's really amusing. <laughs> Xanadu. Uh, pass. Over to you. Okie dokie. I want this one. We won the war. Here. <laughs> and now I want... I won't do this. Okay. Pass to main action. Okay. Now, this is about as far ahead as I thought, I think. No, wait, Helpful. there's more plan. <laughs> yes, this...
go here. Bring this. Now this. And this. No, you're catching up. I was so far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you're still winning, though. This is unacceptable. And then... I have so much money. <laughs> I don't need any more money. Well, give me some. <laughs> that was an impressive catch-up. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> it was. It was. He'd been sitting on those contracts. Don't know about that, folks, but... Uh... I guess we'll do this. Bing! Bing! <laughs> it says here I could buy a black die for three camels, but I know it's a lie. <laughs> I know it's a lie. It's a lie. Cake is just like the cake, it's a lie. Wow, I'm getting bad dice from die rolls. I don't like want to say that's why I'm losing or anything, but that's totally why I'm losing. <laughs> I'm not losing yet, but when I lose, that'll be why. <laughs> it says that you can uh, receive dice compensation in addition to all the other bullshit you get for rolling dice. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah, no I can't. I got uh, 16, didn't I? Yeah, I rolled six. No, oh, I rolled 12. Sorry, I rolled 12, not 16. Oh, so I can have... Meanwhile, I have somehow rolled 23. It's like the inverse of Marco Polo 1. Remember when I rolled like five ones or something? Or four ones and a two? Oh, this <laughs> so. is for my double fours. I'm going to take two camels instead. I don't think I need another gold. I don't need another gold right now. And now this this is actual dice compensation. I can, oh, this, no, this, sorry, this is still my double, this is my double ones. I'm going to have a jade or four money. Um, I should probably have money for when I need to travel. Although actually a second jade would be quite useful. My uh, only vice is rolling dice. Boy. Actually, I'm getting the jade, so I know exactly what I want to do with it. And here is my actual dice compensation of camels and or money. <laughs> God. Um, I'm taking the camels. I want nine camels. I want to be camel lord. Do you hear me? I wish to be the lord of the camels. Um, I'm going to take a one, and I'm going to stick it here. <laughs> so it's just careful. And I'm going to pay 2J to get six silk, because I need a bunch of silk. That's pepper, dude. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 but that's all right. That's what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> just buying a want, black <laughs> buying didn't a black want you to make a, a horrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to passy pass it. The only vice is rolling dice. Hey, guys, you'd love coming. You, you should, like, be, uh, you should come up with advertising slogans. Like, pick up a penguin. They're great. If I ever do get to release a board game, I'm going to get Hagers to come up with the, um, the, uh, slogan for, like, the, 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 the the slogan on the back of the box. Alas, it's not mine. You just lost the job, Heggers. <laughs> you just lost a gig. <laughs> but I respect your honesty. <laughs> right, what the it's... flip am I doing in my life? I had a plan. My plan's gone to... I, despite my initial uh, freezing, as I tend to at the start of sandboxy games, um, I feel that I have I have since dealt better with the options <laughs> than you have. <laughs> you seem confused every time it's your turn. <laughs> I need this. Bam. I didn't look at that either. Again, I haven't looked at it. Will you, will you please remind me to look at the new ones? <laughs> <laughs> It's very rude of you to not remind me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I need all the help I can get to win this. I'm losing, even though I've played way more than you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'm going to go to Khan because there's no other way. Oh, there's a way of making money, and it is spending a camel and a gold for six money and two points. Ooh, do I want to do that? Or I can get four money and a two camels for free. I think I'll get them. No, no, I'm do that's what I can. And then I'm gonna trade in this. And now I feel good about myself. Cause I got two of the guild seals done. And now I get a trade in two camels every turn. Do 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 do. Do, do, do. And I'm gonna buy another black die pass, and I still don't have any sixes. God damn it! <laughs> so I can't buy gold. Oh, I don't really need gold, as I just said. But I still want a six somewhere, just because I feel I deserve it. You know? I just noticed something which I think is going to be really good, and I don't know why I haven't done it already. That upsets me. Wait, no, that's not okay yet so what I really need is this <clears throat> yeah and I need uh, this stuff Ugh. I'm having that classic problem of oh no I can't do everything Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah I want it all I can't believe this is round three as well. Yeah. I want it all. Boom, boom. I, I want, want it. it all. Boom, boom. Let's get some contracts. Because that's the name of the game. And let's trade in this contract. <laughs> And, oh, actually, I don't actually need to retain any of this stuff to do the next one. Um, Chris fulfills contract 46. Well, good job, Chris, on doing contract 46. Oh, my God. This is embarrassing. And another contract. <laughs> I just grabbed two contracts and completed them both in one turn. <laughs> this is an outrage. Contract's still broken. Didn't fix it. Come on, guys. <laughs> I, I, I hear it is fixed. I've actually... I did the time of research I did it actually told me that traveling is the way to win this game. But we'll see. But I, I, I saw a way to get 13 points and I, I was like, well, I'm doing that. <laughs> RSPECT. I never noticed that. Apart from the lack of the E, but still. R S P C T. Yeah, you can make you can make that fit the lyrics. You just gotta like make one of the letters take an extra syllable. R S P C T. <laughs> <laughs> the P is T is now now becomes P. P. It's like when Billy Mac had to um you know get a second syllable into uh wet wet wet's um lovers all around. Christmas is all isn't it Christmas time isn't that weird like we're nearly into October I, I feel like I just got back in the UK at the start of lockdown like a few weeks ago it's absolutely terrifying how is time going faster during a pandemic this is a good question I've experienced the same thing but it's all it also goes faster as you get older it's I finished my turn by the way thank you well, yes, it makes sense that it gets fast. Yeah, I know, obviously it goes, because obviously, you know, a year is now, back when you're four, a year is a quarter of all the time you've known. <laughs> Hallam Beck says it's time for Michael Buble to climb out of his cave. Michael Buble? I, you know, I used to be a big Michael Buble fan back when he was a swinger. And then I, I remember the day I heard Just Haven't Met You Yet, and I was like, ah, oh, you've sold out, and now you're a pop singer. Great. It was actually a perfectly good song. I just kind of felt it wasn't buble -ous. It wasn't. It wasn't a swing. It wasn't like what I wanted from Michael Buble. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. It subverted my expectations in a way that displeased me. 
but that's okay. He didn't write it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Uh, right, where am I going? Booba used to swing, eh? <laughs> I, I had that exact same reaction, Eggers. I was like, I'm going to wait and see how this plays out. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he stopped coming around to my... That's, that's it. You know, he stopped, he, one day he texted me. He was like, I'm not coming around tonight for the party because I've got this new song I'm recording. I was like, God. Um, what do I want to do? I, you know, I, 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 I kept buying Black Dice and <laughs> haven't really thought through what the hell I want to do with them. <laughs> Hey, when this happens. I think I might go to the Khan's favor again, get some more money. Since I'm able to do that. Seems reasonable. And now I can use those camels to buy another black dye that I don't want to do it. I won't, but I won't do that because I genuinely don't. I genuinely do not know what I'll do with it if I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I need to actually think about my future because I've got a dye here and I don't know what I'm doing with it. One yeah, presumes like, having sorry. resources. One presumes that having resources is always good. As long as you get to use them, I, I guess, right? Right. The problem is, Chris, I need That's camels. Nice. <laughs> you do need camels. I need camels. And I don't have any camels. What I really don't need is money. And all this stupid shit gives me money and no camels. I do need money, and that's why I went to get some. <laughs> but I noticed, yes, you do not need money. Would you... Would you I'll, I'll give you a camel for five money. I'll take it. How do we implement this? <laughs> Dear EGA, can you please? I've acquired <laughs> even more money. I'm going for the money victory. <laughs> it's a li victory. little known Why tactic. You... What have you done? Where'd you go? Is money not worth points in the end game? Shit. <laughs> Ten money for one point. That's viable. Look at that! I almost got three points. Go team. Where did you go? What did you actually do for your last turn? Uh, the middle ledger. A ledger. Oh, I consider going to the middle ledger now. I won't go there. Um, right. I'm going to. What's the story behind your game name? What is my game name? Oh, Hyper's Halo. Um, it is back from when I played Halo Three a lot, and back when my favorite video game was Ninja Gaiden. And Hayabusa is the name of the... Well, Ryo Hayabusa is the name of the ninja in, in Ninja Gaiden. And the armor set that I wore, the cosmetic armor I wore in Halo 3 was called Hayabusa. The Hayabusa armor set. Because it looks a bit ninja-like. So, and Hayabusa was taken, I'm pretty sure. And I thought, I like the alliteration of Hayabusa Halo. So, I my Hayabusa Halo was my Xbox gamer tag. It has been for about 12 years, and I just started using it and everything else. <laughs> And now you all can sit back and get ready for the long and interesting story behind RSP Mike. <laughs> yeah, Hyper Sahel is like my name on everything now. I've basically, if, if, there's a, if there's a website where you can have a username, I've claimed the name Hyper Sahel on it. <laughs> Um, what I always find funny is people always struggle to pronounce it. And like it's it's like Hayabusa is not like a, that unusual word. There's a motorbike called a Hayabusa. I think it's because it looks like one word though. Like my instinct would be to say like Hayabusa Halo, Basalo. I don't know. Basalo. You, you yeah. need to break between the A and the H, otherwise it's impronounceable. Yeah. <laughs> Sahalo. 
Uh, where am I going? Okay, I'm going to go to get more contracts. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's working for you so far. God damn it. I need to start out this contract malarkey. This is a disaster. <laughs> uh, pass. But I like it, guys. Also, the other reason I bothered to go to that... The other reason I kind of went to the trouble of coming up with something like that was because um, I personally don't like usernames that are like... Um, like I, so, I I wanted to come with Hayabusa or something like that, and I said it was taken. I I don't like being Hayabusa sixty four or Hayabusa two point oh or I don't I don't I don't like. I, I always like having a completely unique username as opposed to having a, you know, variant you know number after it. That's just a personal preference. I went to bulk. I noticed, and I do not approve. Well, I don't need your approval, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd quite like to get the three silk, but I can't because you did it. And now I'm mad at you. <laughs> Good. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. I'd also quite like to move, but I also can't. I can, but I don't know if it's worth my while. <clears throat> what other cities am I trying to get to, ultimately? Travelling is still hard in this game, because every single road has a price. You told me travelling was easy. Er. Yeah. Um, it's easier because... Oh, you can travel twice in a turn, right? So it's just about... It's more about managing your priorities. Like, this turn I traveled twice because I wanted to put down two, two houses. Ugh. That's the sound of a person who's not happy. <laughs> I'm now kind of tempted to buy a black die because it might roll <laughs> and land on something that I actually want. Or you could just re-roll the dice you have. Yes, or I could do that. I, I also thought of that. But I can't... I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> man. I can't believe how quick this game has been. Like, I think we've only been playing an hour because we spent a good half hour talking about Hero Quest. Yes, we've been playing about an hour. That's about accurate. Uh, but in fairness, talking about HeroQuest for half an hour is, like, the most important thing that we could good, do. A very good use of our time. This is correct. Very good use. Oh, God. Ah! Who are you waving at? <laughs> the folks at home! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing well and having a good time and hanging out while we play Marco Polo 2 and enjoy Chris's groans of Euro frustration. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I actually may, do I actually want to bother moving? Like, are they yeah, sure? it's too expensive. It's not worth it. I wouldn't bother. But, but I am like how because the points they do go up exponentially, but not that exponentially. Oh, you're talking about getting more little icon guys out. No, I wouldn't worry about it. Just let me get them all. If I could get to there and there, that would be... not. that's right, there and there. That would be... Like, it's not that many points. I mean, it is good, but it's not... Good... I don't know if it's good enough. It, it's when you start getting to the... 10, 11, 12, 13. That's when it's excellent. Oh, hey, Hager. Sorry to hear you didn't have a good day at work, man. Glad uh, glad we can help relieve your your day somewhat. I concur. Hallenbeck says he's painting miniatures. What are you painting? Ooh, that's good. Yeah, I find that, so I find streams like this that I watch are really good to, like, while you're, like, doing something like that, like, like painting a paint miniatures or not that I knit but if you, if you knit it it'd be really good while you're knitting <laughs> Hunter's AD 21 
Oh my 14. god, okay, so I've never heard of this game. It's a post-apocalyptic campaign game made by a Polish guy. And, like, just recently, everyone's been telling me I should play it on the channel. And, you know, it's so funny. I actually, uh, I did email the designer yesterday, and I was like, so what's the deal with your game? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what to do! Apparently it's really cool. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm having a great time because there's nothing I could do. I used all my dice. I was oh like, yeah, it's spend, just, spend, oh, spend, 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 spend. Yeah, that's that, <laughs> it's just you. That that should actually make it easier when you think about it, but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it probably does actually. Okay, in that case, I can. All right, okay, so I can work it out then. I can go here for four money, get two silk. And then, oh yeah, okay, I'm, I, okay, I'm doing it. I'm buying another black die. So you haven't played it yet, Holland Beck? Yeah, I've heard, uh, I've heard really good things about it. I'd be keen to check it out. <laughs> that Xanadu spot is too awesome. I've decided. Wait, why can't... Oh, pass main... Oh, I keep forgetting why... Um, you must perform bonus action or pass. Pass to main action. Yeah, I keep forgetting that's why I can't do things. Yeah, I'm taking another gold. <laughs> and then I'm taking one of these. Oh my and, god, this contract uh, situation is completely unacceptable. <laughs> also gonna take a gold... No, no, I'm gonna pass, sorry. Oh, I messed up. No, I didn't. Apologies, I didn't. Yay, now I can go here. And I can grab this. Which means I can trade in this one. Oh, I don't want to do that because it gets me a black die and it won't let me undo it. Damn it. It won't let you undo it? Yeah. Well, maybe after you choose the resource you can undo it. Yes. <laughs> okay, but I'll still take the obviously the resource. Oh, I've got loads of jade. I could take six pepper for three for two jade. Ah shoot. Uh, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pass. And finally, you're a start player. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, why have I... How did we both roll five ones? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to collect something, do you? Yeah, I have to pick a... Uh, you must collect your bonuses. Uh, what? Do I have to click on this first? Right, yes. Okay, I do. I uh, don't know Hunter's 80, 21, 14. Yeah, I don't... I'd, I'd never heard of it before uh, it came up on the channel. Oh, could I go down here and get gold? Two not equal. I could, but it'd only be one gold. Uh... No, I want the camels, man. Double... Is this because I rolled double sixes, I assume? Yes, it is. I can have two, four money... Or one jade. I think I probably want the money this time. Mike's turn. Everybody's second favorite turn. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh wait, I have so much money, it's fine. <laughs> it's pity you can't buy di black dice with uh, money <laughs> for you. <laughs> who's the little black dude who's a uh, toggle player figure transparency on board? Oh, I see. Why would I want to do that? If you click that little black meeple to the left of the contract stack, it like makes the pieces in the board transparent. I don't know why you'd want to do that. 
You're not listening to me, Mark. You're not listening to me. <laughs> I thought you were talking to our wonderful audience while I I'm talking to everybody. The, the meaning everybody of my life listens. is... The... It's my turn now. What did you do? You pa- Alan you pay- Beck says there is a late pledge available for Hunters AD 2114 with a second edition and new expansions. I will back it immediately. Except I won't clear what it is. Take my money! Trick. Uh, I'm putting in this contract. I'm taking the gold. Um, oh, <laughs> there's a party that would, that, there's a party that I'd love to make that um, five or six and then put three sixes in the travel. <laughs> I'd oh never hey to... guys! Hey. Sorry. What? Um, I got a message back from uh, Mateus, the uh, designer of the game, and he says, uh, "Unfortunately, we don't have any more copies of the first print run at the m- run at the moment." Wow, of the first print run at the moment. But it'd be an honor for me to send you a copy of the second printing. We'll be in touch. Which game? Which game is this? Hunters Twenty One. Oh. 14. Oh, you, li- you literally got a reply just now, as it happened. No, no, I messaged him yesterday because everyone was telling me I should check it out, which is why I was saying it was funny that uh, uh. it came up in the chat. That's awesome! <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, I've got nothing but um, um, respect for publishers and designers and people who support media outlets in this way, you know, because... One of the biggest challenges with making this a uh, full-time occupation is the overhead cost of games to play. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I'm rich, but just because I also waste a lot of money on board games. <laughs> oh, that's uh, wonderful. What a wonderful message. What a cool guy. Right. What am I doing here? What am I doing? You haven't taken yeah. an action yet, no? no? I have not taken an action yet. I'm still trying to decide what earth I want to do. I'm going to take contracts, probably. Yeah, Chris yeah. is obviously going for contract victory again, which is fine. <laughs> well, I'm just looking at how expensive it is to move and how I don't get that many points for doing it. Even, like, even if I go everywhere... Like at this point in the game, I don't see myself getting more than like I don't know six, seven, eight shields, and that's thirteen points. And like those two contracts alone are eighteen points. And uh, because I have Xanadu, the hardest aspect of contracts is not that hard for me. I.e., getting gold. Stop doing contracts. That's my thing. You monster. It feels contract 11. <laughs> Words. You must select a contract to discard. Why? Oh, because did you... Did, does contract 11 give you a contract? No. Yeah, it gave me a contract. The one I just did gave me a contract. Oh, and you just moved into a place. You have to take a contract from... Mirror. No, 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 sorry. That's what I meant. Sorry, the, the place I just moved into gave me a contract. But maybe Contract 11 also gave you one? No, it let me move. It was the one that triggered the movement. Huh. Well, that's fine. I was well, planning on doing the other one anyway. Yeah. It's because you have to... One way or another... You, you oh, it's because I... No, it's because I built a trade post here so I can get a contract. Yeah, but I was trying to work out how you already had two if you just traded one in. But it doesn't matter. Because I picked one up for entering the city. Right, but how did you already have two before you picked one up? For I had two, I completed one, I went into the city, I picked one up, and that's why I'm confused, because I don't know why it was like then discard one. Yeah, so you had to... Unless the reward for... Unless one. Yeah, but unless the reward for entering the city was 
pick one oh, up, then the discard rewards. one. Yeah, the yeah. reward itself might have been one, that's true. What I the... think is the reward for the entering the city was pick up a contract, then discard a contract. Um, I'll, let me go back in the stream and find out. No, no, you'll see my secret gold card. Uh, I promise I'll look. Yeah, it was the, the reward for entering the city, for the first player to enter the city, was to uh, get a contract. Yeah, and then discard one? No, no, no. So what happened was, you had two, you completed one, so now you have one. You move into the city and instantly get one for free. Now you have two, and then because you've activated, um, because you've entered a contract type city, as in it has two contracts in it, you get to take one. But in order to take one, you now must discard one because you have two. Um, right, I'm going to take gold, I think. Although, because you can't do that, I just I have to... I got much too excited. <laughs> this is now ASMR stream. Um... Just making sure there isn't something else I want to do first, seeing as how you can't do this thing. But I don't think there is. Chris, I'll do what I want. I do what I want. Yeah. I do what I want. Oh my god. Can I? How much jade do I have? I've got two jade. Which means, ah, that's annoying. Oh, I have to work things out. I don't like having to work things out because it's really, really hard. Brain, give me power, brain. Oh, you've already gone to that gold space, you absolute plonker. That means I can't get gold. Well, I can't get more than three gold. But I'm very greedy. I want more than three gold. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, I'm just going to do it because I can't think what else to do right now, and this will make it. This will make things clearer for me. Pass. Chat's you giving, type me. Chat's <laughs> giving me suggestions about what I should uh, get from the end tomorrow. <laughs> <As> I, apology. <laughs> this is I keep saying this is why we need to um, like uh, build a state of the art studio, and you keep saying you keep you keep you keep putting it off, and I, I can't think of a reason why. <laughs> Studios are notoriously free. Oh my god, look at you enjoy your bloody dice. Who do you think you are? Okay. And, why are you and why are you taking contracts? You're like, this isn't your this that's not your gig. Get out of your get out like if I was a I feel like I'm a drug lord and you're like getting into my territory. Which is wrong. I've done less than half the contracts, Chris has done. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I've just done another one. <laughs> Oh, but I need a, score I, deficit's depressing. But I need a gold, and I also need a. I need so much stuff that I can't get right now. This uh, Xanadu to Kakorum combo is 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 impeccable. It is rather good. It's quite a simple combo as well. Well, it only works if that Xanadu, that card's in Xanadu, which no, it's not always. Mm, yeah, well, true. Um, okay, I'm going to spend a three to go down Nya and get everything I need for this. Oh, hang on. I can't count. Yes, I can. And then I'm going to pass. Just call me J. 
Jade and Pepper King. Just call you Voss? The Jade and Pepper King. Why Jaden? Oh, because is that your character's name? The Jade and Pepper. Oh, I think it's a Jade. <laughs> Just call me Jaden Pepper King. <laughs> that almost sounds like it could be a surname. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jaden Pepper King. <laughs> oh my god, that's my new internet user handle. RSP Mike <laughs> is out. Yeah. Jaden Pepper King. <laughs> that's a much more interesting story about how I how you got a username. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I'm. Only well, my friends can call me Jaden. You must call me. Mr. Pepper King. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to take a gold and two camels. I've adjusted the the volume of my mic so that I'm a bit more audible. Now I have a gold and two camels. I can do. Um, how do I get jade? Apart from the bag, how do I get jade? There is no other way to get jade. That I can see it's obvious. Well, there's some jade on the top row of each ledger. A ledger? Oh, God, Chris, you blocked me. Excellent. Have I? How? Oh. Never mind. I just, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to pass and wait a turn, actually. <laughs> Twelve pack. Acoustic panels, recording studio room, egg foam on Amazon. Is that a thing? Is that actually? Is that is there actually a cost-effective way of setting up a like a? Oh, no, believe me, this is not my first rodeo. I've certainly looked into this previously. <laughs> um, and yes, that's there is of course noise cancelling foam, but it's. Not, just, in, just entomb your head in it. Not only is it not super effective, but furthermore, it's uh, it's expensive, and uh, I rent. I'm a renter. I don't own, so um, I would be Con if I covered the wall in sh foam. That'd be a surefire way to lose my whole deposit. <laughs> Why don't you move in here? Deborah can live there with Leanne, and then we can then we can turn Deborah's office into a into a studio. Sounds perfect. Sources. Yeah, sorted, mate. <laughs> 10 pounds a 12 pack? That can't be any good, right? That must be rubbish. If it's 10 quid for 12. I think I'm committing at this point to a contract strategy. Seems to be working for you. Well, unless you've got a bucket of endgame scoring coming. <laughs> yeah, right. No. Well, it's, it's, yeah, how much traveling have you actually done? You've got, what, one, two, three, four, four things down? When you said I blocked you, where did I block you? I don't understand. I went, I got gold, but you can still get gold. What are you talking about? How can I get gold? You can still use the ledger. A ledger. No, I can't. You just pay for it. No, because I, the colors are all blocked off, right? Uh. Oh, can you not put black on black? I don't think so. I'll try next turn. I think you can. I thought... Well, you maybe you can't. I think you can. Zero. I, I think. Couldn't. But we shall find out next turn. Right, I'm going to trade in this. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I'm such a Muppet. Why do I keep... Why do I... I've, I've, I've been forced to say that too many times this game. <laughs> I forget that when you get a bonus contract from a contract, it comes from the stack and not from my city. <laughs> so I was like, build. I, I was like, I was ready to combo two contracts. That's upsetting. Uh... Now I don't know what to do with myself. Sounds like someone's making dinner in the background. Um. 
Deborah's certainly doing something in the kitchen. It sounds like she's putting rice into a cup. <coughs> she drinks rice. <laughs> um, oh, where do I go? Where do I go? This is really frustrating because I have no idea what to do. Um, I've really made a bit, bit of a boo-boo. I don't really see how that's possible. You're so rich. But I just want to do contracts. <laughs> that's all I want to do. <laughs> all I want to do is make contracts. You need more camels, Chris. This is true. If I want to be camel lord, I do need more camels. I am currently camel lord. <sighs> what do I want? I ha I want... Okay. I want... I want gold. That's what I want. How do I get gold? I love gold. How do I get gold? <laughs> uh, I mean, I could pay six money, which is all my money to get to get a gold and two camels. That's not worth it. Maybe I should just get two camels and four money. Maybe. Maybe. Um, oh, I also want Jade at some point. I think you're the one who told me that you can't go wrong with the Khan's favor. I was the one who said that, actually. That's a very famous line from me. <laughs> That's what they're um, going to put on your tombstone. <laughs> um, but I also could go and I... Uh, okay, I think I might go I might go Khan's favor. Khan's favor. Unless I can see a way to get Jade. Oh yeah, I can. Oh yeah, I'll get, I'll get Jade next one. Oh no, I can do that into this. That's not blocked off yet. Although I can save her first and next time I can get Jade. And then I will have achieved something. Thanks, Hagers. You were right. I needed more camels. I don't think I've come across a problem lately that couldn't be solved with more camels. And then I want a jade. And the pepper is just bonus, I guess. Bonus pepper. Chris, Marco, you're correct. Marco. You can play black on black. Chris, you're correct. Words I'm so used to hearing. <laughs> Uh, if only. <laughs> I heard it in school a bit. I can sometimes get the answers right to questions in school. Back, are you like, are you, are you like, well, not, not, a, not that he'll be able to hear this if he is, but yes, but are you like a few minutes behind on the stream? <laughs> because <laughs> I said that a while ago. <laughs> I'm impressed you spelt her name correctly as well. Most people don't. I'm painting in focus. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> it just takes a while for the for when you're painting for the brain to to, to get processed information. <laughs> I know what you mean. When I paint miniatures, I'm like like the miniatures like literally an inch from my face. I don't know if that's how you meant to paint them or not. Probably isn't. I never tried painting with with one of those magnifying glass things. I must actually invest in one at some point. What did you do last? Was your last time, by the way? There. Oh, I just took uh, Jade, I think. Yes, you. Oh, you collected the spice skill seal. Oh, I also. Well, that was ages ago. 
Oh. So that's uh, I think that's the income. It's talking about the income. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, I'm with that's you. Nice. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, you, you 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 did just take a jade, and then you passed. <sighs> right. Oh, I actually rolled it right this time. Um, but I got double five, so I can either have a silk. Or two points. Do I need a silk? Can we all please observe who the camel lord currently is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I need a silk. So I'm just gonna have two points. You're you're, you're temp you're, you're the camel lord for now, but the round's not over yet. This is the last round, actually, though. I have a hue which gives me the high Kelvin. So no need to be that close. Lighting does a lot for me. Is lighting a uh, sufficient substitute for the distance? I haven't painted miniatures in so long. Um, I agree. Like I used, to, I, I when I did paint, I I, I invested in natural um in like, natural light date. I can't remember they're called natural daylight bulbs or not, so that I could paint in the evenings with a better representation of natural light. Um. But even fact, even with good lighting, I still like. I mean, I Warhammer and st size miniatures. I side painters. I used to, it needs to be very close. Um, right. What am I doing? I'm going to need. I'm going to put a five here. To get, ah, to get two silk. Because I want two silk, and that's why I didn't take one silk earlier. Because I knew I would want two. And then I'm going to pass for now. If the miniature gets too close, my I can't focus. Maybe I need glasses. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Um, no, I haven't painted so long. I have. I'm very fortunate that I have. I well, I had 20/20 vision most of my life. I had an eye assessment about a year and a half ago. I was told that I was now. If, I don't know if this is like the real term, but she said you're effectively 2019 now. Like the one of my eyes had like dipped a tiny bit, but like not one of the eyes was still perfect, and one of the eyes had dipped like a tiny bit. So I don't need glasses. Um, so maybe, and I, and I use the computer so much. I think I'm just, I'm just, and I'm the only member of my family. I've got three siblings, all wear glasses. Two parents, obviously. <laughs> oh, um, uh, all wear both wear glasses, and I'm the only one who has doesn't need glasses. So I'm so lucky with my vision. And I'm probably a person who abuses it the most with the amount of computer games and stuff I played over the years. But yeah, there is definitely a there is definitely a eye deficiency, isn't there? A sight deficiency where you can't focus on things close close by. Need to have malls up close for me. Also, oh, maybe maybe the port maybe, maybe it is maybe why it is because my eyesight's bad. Then I need to have them close up. Some of my proudest miniatures are actually in the cabinet behind me. I went went through all my stuff a while back and decided to actually display some of the good stuff, some of the good ones. Oh, they're possibly not good by your by by other people's standards. What'd you do in there, Mike? Uh, secret plan. Filling contracts. Yeah. I noticed. And buying all the black dice. Oh my god. Have you actually placed your dice this turn though yet? Yes. Oh, you went to the same place as me, did you? Yes. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go here. Yes, three gold. Because that's how I roll. I'm gonna trade in this contract. And I'm gonna move to here. To Kashgar for the free for the free movement from the contract. Um, and then I'm going to Oh I get goods for why do I get goods? Because you immediately gain the income bonus when you play build a trade book. 
Oh, I hadn't spotted there was an income bonus there. That's so good. Um, well, I, I, I just want the gold, I guess, because I do need the gold for later. And I'm going to buy a black, last black die before you can. Uh, that's a rubbish roll. <laughs> I pass. So nice to have Chris with the lead speaker at the same time. So weird, Mike not speaking. <laughs> well, thank you. I disagree. I think it's, it's very wonderful not to have Mike. <laughs> you know how often I have to listen to Mike? Monster. <laughs> Chris, do this. Chris, do that. That is. Chris, be on time for the stream. Chris, take <laughs> your turn. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, it's actually quite easy for me to be on time for the stream. Mike, Mike has to set things up and sometimes gets delayed, but through no fault of his own. <laughs> okay, what am I doing with my life choices here? What am I doing with my life choices? Do you want to make calls on who's going to win, chat? I'm currently 27 <laughs> points ahead, but I can reveal my endgame scoring is rubbish. Um, so... I'm hoping it'll be enough. I'm not certain what I'm going to do. Oh, I've got that. I forgot I had that. I'm trying to see if there's a miniature that I'm willing to show camera. Oh no, it's gonna hit the thingy. Eat, eat, yeah, I think eat. we go into. It's not gonna get blocked off though. So no Apologies for the noise <laughs> of the the lampshade moving about. There's no black dice left, so that's kind of relevant too. I'll do this and then I do that, and then I'm like, shake it all about. That goes down there. Goes that. And I can still go up there and do that. Yes. Okay, so this one. Mike, just so you know, it just sounds like you're mental and like nattering away to yourself. <laughs> I'm absolutely mental. Well, you're supposed to be doing all the talking. Yeah, I was getting well, a miniature think. to show people. Hang on. This is a miniature I'm quite proud of. This is the librarian from from Space Hulk, which I Dude, painted. The lighting just makes it look black. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> Legitimately um, can't see it's, it. It's well painted, believe it or not. I was quite pleased that that looks so bad in yeah. this light. But yeah, I, I took the like the um miniatures from Space Hulk and put them into my Grey Knights army. I must I must find a way to increase the lighting. <laughs> Deb, can you turn the whole light on? <laughs> Please. Alright, I'm gonna pass for now, I think. Thanks. Team. I think that's all I can do. <laughs> Is that lighting better? So yeah, it's definitely though. we can definitely see there are colours now. You can't this is it totally out of focus. Yeah. But look, he's pretty with a blue robe and everything. Ah. Space Marines are cool. Space Marines are cool. Over and what's nice about this is having such a unique model in the army. Everyone says it looks cool in chat. They're very nice and, and supportive. That's because you have to be nice. Cause it'd be... <laughs> imagine if they said it looked crap. Can you imagine? <laughs> like, <laughs> I can imagine. Not in... It's just not in no. human nature. Like I'm, so, I'm a really critical person. I, I wouldn't have the heart to do that in a chat. <laughs> Hego says we don't have to be nice, which is absolutely <laughs> true. I do think generally people's communities sort of rally around the what kind of person that person is, you know? Like, for example... I'm a, I'm I, a horrible person, which means that if they say it's good, it must be really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, I want more gold. <laughs> I love gold! Why do I never get enough gold? Um, okay, I'm going to go to get two more contracts. Yeah, that's I, I wanted to do that, and now I've been blocked. <laughs> well, you can still do it. You've 20 money. How are you blocked, man? Know, I'm, just, I'm <laughs> literally just kidding. Seem <laughs> so to remember Mike pulling a Hail Mary victory in the past. Yes, what was the game he, recently that you did that on? Was it was it Race of the Galaxy? 
you won that, didn't you? I definitely did have a something akin to a Hail Mary on that one. There was, yeah, there was, yeah, there was definitely a stream not that long ago where I was convinced I had it sewn up, and unfortunately lost. I think I want to reroll one of these dice. Never got so I'm just going to reroll it and see what happens. Hey. Yes, you can't buy a new die after all. Damn it. That makes no difference at all to my life. What were you looking for? Um, four up. I do apologize if the my strategy of um, generating money, uh, generating gold from Xanadu and taking contracts from Karakorum <laughs> was a boring one to watch. <laughs> but I stumbled across it in my first two moves of the game. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this will work. <laughs> in your defense, it has been an absolutely spectacular strategy. Do you know what would, really would have um, hurt it is if you'd also gone to Xanadu and mm -hmm. we were competing for this action? Yeah. Exactly, Hegus. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I will do this every time I play Marco Polo 2. Yeah, that the gold <laughs> card might not even be in the game. I'm not playing then. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, the gold card came out in Xanadu again. What are the chances of ten games in a row? <laughs> Man, even if you stack the deck, that couldn't possibly happen. You must perform a main or bonus action. Right, have I not... Oh no, all I've done is a contract and play a thing. Right. Camille, is the board too small to... Be com what, view comfortably. I did ask that at the top, and I think it depends on what you're looking at it on, right? Yes, it would depend on what you're what you're viewing it on, I guess. I mean, it's fine on a 27-inch monitor. Poss <laughs> possibly not so good on a phone. Yeah, but Hegus, you're just a king of technology, I guess. <laughs> um, where am I going? I wanted... Oh, yes, I wanted to go... here... to the rightmost ledger. A ledger. And I wanted to pay... um... Jade to get... gold. So I'm gonna pay... Just one J to get two gold and a camel. And then I'm also going to use this two to get a jade. Wait, why have I done that? There is oh, yes. an awful amount of real estate on the board given over to these player sections, which does seem kind of unnecessary I'm going to use this black die as well to get two camels and now I can trade in both these uh, both these um, contracts I don't think I can afford to travel with my free travel so I will not be traveling <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to trade perform, oh, oh do I not have enough Oh dear, I don't have enough camels to do that. You're short by one camel, Chris. Oh, okay, I can I can fix this. Hang on, undo. Oh dear, I obviously did not work this out properly. I need five camels, and I have one. Oh no, have I totally scuppered this? How will you win without those eight points, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm not sure what the end game scoring will be like, but I don't think it's good enough to to save my bacon here. Ooh, that's upsetting. I think I might not be able to do this. I have all the pepper I need. I've got all the silk I need. I have all the jade I need, so I need to get three gold, and I need to get four camels with three dice. Three gold and two camels with two... Oh, I can do that. 
I can just do this over and over again because I have enough money to do that. I can't do it. Oh, I can't because of the no. Because of the jade price. No, okay. I can't because you, you can't. You're not allowed to do the same action like loads of time. I do it twice. Oh, actually, I think I can. I think I can do this. Um, if I go with the five to no, I can't. Oh no. And if I go here, do that, then I have to get a. I need to get jade and camels at the same time, but I've already. But that black die is not mine. Oh, I can go there though with a black die, and no, I can't because it's only a one. No. Mike, help me. <laughs> They must have three sets Cam of eyelids and two rows of eyelashes to keep the sand out of their eyes. <laughs> Damn it. It can't be done. It cannot be done. Unless there's something I'm missing. But I, I, I don't think there's a way of doing this. So instead, I'm just going to. So I guess I'll just do the one that gives me eight points. They both give you eight points. Oh yes, that's true. All right, I'll just do this in that case. Um, unless I can do get that t spend two jade to get two camels, does that help me anyway? But then I need an extra jade. And then you need two jade. You can you need four jade uh, in total. Yeah, yeah so I'm, it's fine. Look, I'll just I'll just do this, and then I'll pass, and then I'll think some more while you're doing your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I don't. I don't think there's a way of doing it though. Oh, it was it was Helenbeck saying that. I thought you were researching camels <laughs> while I was taking my turn. I really want to go to Egypt, Helenbeck. It's um probably top five on my list. My list of places to go. I've always been fascinated by ancient Greece and ancient Egypt. I, I crossed ancient Greece off the list last year on a wonderful holiday. I'd like to go to ancient Egypt soon. I say ancient Egypt, I'm sure it'll be quite modern. <laughs> but I want to see the ancient things on the tours. I'd quite like to go back to Greece, actually. It's always nice when you leave a place wanting more. Three camels and one jade. I'm such a slow drinker. Over to you, buddy. I completed a contract. Are you scared? <laughs> um, I only need to do four more, and I'll catch up to you. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little upset that I, I'm only, I haven't got twice as many as you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, however, I have failed to. Um, what are you drinking, Helmbeck? I'm drinking okay, water. Girl. I am indeed. I just really like. Um, I also want to go. I also want to do like feudal Japan. That's number one on my list. Oh, you said cheers, so I just thought maybe you were drinking something as well. <laughs> um, Japan's definitely number one on my list, alongside New Zealand, to go visit. All right, I have failed to uh, find a way to do this, so I shall just try and get points in another way. Points, 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 points. Points, points, points. Points mean prizes. Mm -hmm. Paul Hollywood did a TV show on the food of Japan, quite a series, like three episode series, quite recently. And there's like a, there's like a pot place that sells uh, pot noodles that have, have Michelin stars. They're effectively pot Michelin star pot noodles. It is remarkable. <laughs> you should drink every time either of you both say camel. We'd be 
but absolutely catatonic in, in <laughs> inside ten minutes. Whatever way this endgame goes, I think I can safely say I have sewn up the Camel King title. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should just try and get the Camel King out of you. No. Don't maybe that it. would be a valuable use of my time. Camels! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is the meta game we play, and it's more important. It's honestly the priority. <laughs> the fact that some of us actually try to win the game is a uh, point of sheer... I actually need to use some of these camels as well, which is such a pity. Such a pity. Do you know what's really funny? I actually points are um, leftover resources are actually worth points in the end of the game, and I'm foregoing that to get, to get camels, <laughs> so I can be the camel king. <laughs> God damn it! Looks like Chris is actually going to win this and be camel king. I'm so upset. I could have. Well, the thing is, if you remember rightly, I could have uh, been the camel king at the end of Marco Polo, and I basically messed up, messed up my planning, and fails to be camel king at the end. Camel lord, I think is what we call it. This is true. No! Did you say no? You just took camels. Mhm. Mm we might be tied for camels, Chris. I'm so sad. I want to become lord. Please spend a camel. Please spend a camel. Please spend a camel. What the hell are you doing? What's happening? And I had to complete a contract, but it took forever. <laughs> I could spend a camel to re-roll this die. Which could get me points. It's only worth it if I take the victory away from you. I can't let you have both things, you know? <laughs> so so you, could, you could just use it to get two camels from the bag and be the Camel King. <laughs> How important is Camel Lord to you? Did you actually spend it? Uh-oh. Oh no. How many points are you buying? You rolled a six. I think you might win. Yes. Oh, that was so close. I am Camel Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I was really scared there at the end. I thought you had. I thought you had it. I thought you had it because you just bought six points, right? Uh, I bought six points. Yeah. Oh. Five points in it. That Xanadu combo with your character to do all those contracts was baloney. <laughs> yeah. So that was so oh, good. I, I, did, I actually didn't get as much free stuff as I thought I would. But but still, really good, obviously. Really good. But it's funny, because when I saw that character, I was like, that's OP, OP. Like, mm -hmm. that's like, that's well, what you're I, actually meant to have these characters. Isn't I was given her the first time I played the game, because they were like, she's really fun and easy to use. But the most important thing is, I'm Camel Lord. <laughs> this is true. I did wind up. I did end the game with two camels, so not a complete wash. But yeah, but like I have twice as many camels as you. Do. You have four. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Notice I'm not rubbing in the victory of the game. I'm rubbing in the Camel Lord victory. <laughs> That's true. I'm now one down with Camel Lord victory. We have to find a game another game that has camels because we've now had three weeks i think in a row of camel, of camel lords that uh, <laughs> that end game score is amazing which end game scoring yours That's what do you like, mean it's no it's astonishing how uh, how close it is yeah camel and up, how true. high the scores are <clears throat> yeah we thought about camel actually... up, but they don't have it do they you actually took five extra main actions, having acquired three extra black dice. I thought I played really well in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should say this now, but I, but, but I didn't think I played that <laughs> because I just did this. I didn't really do anything interesting. Yeah. I kind of just. <laughs> well, that's but that's what I mean. I think that. Uh... I think that the reason I think I played well was because I sort of balanced all these different victory conditions and all that kind of stuff. 
Whereas you had a character that gives you resources, you got an action space that gives you a ton of valuable resources, and then you just went and did contracts for the whole game, which is a, yeah. it's a simple strategy, but clearly very effective. But you it's know? funny because I, I intended on moving a lot, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I was sitting in Karakorum, I think it was, yeah, Karakorum, mm -hmm. and I was I had these I had these contracts to do, and I had the and I and I was also I was trying to get down to Kabul and Pagan. Were the two places, the other places I wanted to visit to, to get some good shields going. And I was like, that's going to cost me camels, jade, money, lots of, like, lots, lots of all these things. And it's only going to get me, it's, it's going to jump me up from two, she from two shields, effectively. Well, if I stop in Balk on the way, uh, it'll. No, Balk hasn't got a thing. So it's going to jump, yeah, it sorry, it's going to jump me from two shields to potentially seven shields. So that's going to take me from one point to ten points. That's nine points, or I can just spend half those resources on a contract for eight points, and not have to spend all these dice moving. Um, mm -hmm. And I just, I, just, I could not see a way. Only after like whatever it was, a turn and a half, a round and a half, or two rounds, I could not see a way of of more of turning turning um, resources into points more efficiently. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh yeah, well that uh, that card that let you get. Three gold for a six was extremely um, useful because I really struggled to get gold throughout this this game. I thought yes. like it was. Yes, and I difficult. used it every turn. I used it. Um, I got three gold four times, and I got one gold one time. So, mm -hmm. for those of you who do math, it's thirteen gold. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, you've got your character giving you resources on top of that as well, although maybe yes. not quite as much. But I think I might have gotten some gold from her ca the character as well. In fact, I know I did. Mm -hmm. I definitely got silk several times from my character, and I also specifically got silk from my character several times when I needed it. Um, too early in the day for maths. It's always too early for maths, I guess. It's always too yeah, I was about to say, don't you do the UK? This is his joke. This is had this joke before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's late enough in the day to repeat, <laughs> repeat jokes. But yeah, so, um, I don't know. I, I, I like, it's, because I knew, I, traveling's easier, but... Oh my god, it's more expensive. Mm. Well, actually, well, maybe it's not, though, because originally you had to pay gold just to move, whereas now you only have to pay two gold just for the, the lowest movement. Yeah. I mean, I do think moving is... is it's, well, it's not necessarily easier. It's more available. You know? How many points did you get for shields? How many points did you both get for shields? Uh, I had Where's eight in the end. end. I counted as having end? eight. I don't know. You'll have it in the final scoring somewhere. So I got. Uh, I got oh, you have you, you don't have the um, stats, do you? No. Um. See, I got seventy six points from contracts. You got forty five points from contracts. Yeah, and you also got the bonus eight points, which in a two player game is it. such a huge swing. And yeah. I was only actually three contracts behind you in the end. Yeah, it was it's not bad. You really caught up on that huge amount. Where is it? I'm just trying to find it. Total average value of dice placed. Coin, number of contracts, number of guild seals. Is that what we're talking about? No, that's not what we're talking about. What uh, guild seals. The, oh, number of plus one shields. I had They're, one plus the, one. You had four plus one. Yeah, I had a bunch of bonus plus one shields. Number of... Oh, here we go. Number of points from gold guild... That's guild seals again. Number of points from different shields. Here we go. I had two, and you had 13. Yeah. So you had um, eight different shields, and I only had three different shields for two points. But that's but that's I feel that you invested a hell of a lot more to get that eleven point swing than I had to invest to get my thirty odd point swing in contracts. Well, but that's I mean that's because um, I, well I didn't actually have to invest all that much. I only built four trade posts. Um, oh, you just you just got all your doubles, I guess. Well, I got a, I get a bonus shield for existing with my character. Um, I got bonus shield on my gold card, and I got a bonus shield on. A contract, and I got a bonus shield on a guild seal as well. So oh, that's cool, getting them on the shield. Oh, wow, you needed to get five different guild seals. Uh, I got, uh, I got three. I got, I need, I didn't sorry, need all. Sorry, yeah, three. I didn't need all of them. I got, I only, I got, one, I got them all though because three of them were worth points, and then the the easiest yeah. one gave me an extra shield and five income, which was super valuable, like super good. Um, I was only going to get the one I needed, but then I, I decided I was I was really angry about messing up that <laughs> that move, so I decided to take a second one just cause. Um, although I'm glad I did because I actually used the jade quite a lot. Yeah, I was buying, asking, you know? they're worth picking up just for the jade, and then whether or not you actually flip them over is another thing. 
Yeah, well, I was glad I, the one I didn't need was the second one I got, but I'm glad I flipped it over and bought it and flipped it over just because I got a jade for taking it, and then I started getting a jade, I got a jade for flipping it, and then I got three jades throughout the game for having it on turns three, four, and five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or maybe I, maybe I only had it, maybe I flipped on turn three, but regardless, I got yeah, four, I five think, jade. Uh, I think overall you were able to fulfill much more valuable contracts than me because of all the gold you had, you know? Yes. Um, I just couldn't really keep up with that. Um and I just uh, didn't I, I, I mean I'm trying to remember what the scores were the last time I played this with Michael actually because I feel like they, they were we were we were probably in the region of the 80s or 90s maybe so I don't know if this was a particular I'm just trying to think if this was a particularly high scoring game but I think over 100 is pretty high score for this game well you came second with 99 <laughs> so <laughs> that's uh so which which do you prefer? I I do actually think I like this one better. I think that the only major drawback on this one is how seemingly unnecessarily complicated the shield scoring system is. I was about to say the exact same thing. I think that the some of the additions are kind of convoluted rather than um, rather than deeper. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm not sure, therefore, if I approve of the changes overall. Um, even, uh, to be honest, even the whole ledger thing, a ledger, um, even if the whole, the, even the whole ledger thing of, I actually, I, I quite, hmm, the whole, the whole paying one J to get, you know, the whole, you can get, you can get X or you can get Y, or you can pay one J for A, or you can pay two J for B, even that is just a little bit visually messy. I don't really like that very much, the way it looks on the board. It's not... Well, a, a... to be fair, the board is very, sort of, small, even on my big TV here. I'm going to make this bigger now. Because no, I really... just mean the way... So if you look at the Pepper thing, for example, the first ledger, you've got, like, one Jade and two Pepper, and then under that you have another Jade, but that Jade represents a, a payment. And then... and it, I, I don't know, I just... I mean, I understand it. I just, I just don't think it's very elegantly designed um, I also don't know if I like the um, the two the, does that happen in the first game actually the two the two, the two city cards that are the no, they, they, they aren't in the first game so you because if you get something incredibly powerful and you're the first player you can't see what's coming up can you with those no unlike the other thing unlike the market change so mm -hmm. I'm not sure I approve of that I mean you could play with um, it play with them that way uh, face up so you can see what's coming you know how I feel about having to change the rules <laughs> um, sorry point with two fingers so it's not rude uh, so yeah so I, I don't know if I like that I don't I, th I think the ledger system's less elegant I think the the shield system's a bit silly um, I think overall I'd prefer the first one but I like this one obviously I'd happily play it but I, like... it just seems to, I don't. I don't really see what it. What the point of it is. But I said this about brass. Uh, Lang, which one? The new, the second one, brass Birmingham. Birmingham. Brass Birmingham, yeah. Um, and I know that I'm in a minority with that. But I guess it's because I've only played the first Marco Polo four or five times. I don't need a new version of it yet. Hmm. And I, mean, I only played Fast Night this year twice. So. This one feels more flexible. I mean, you and I both did very little movement I would like to get good enough at, I mean I think you have to play to the strengths of your characters um, and in that way we've both done that because my character is all about doing guild seals and yours with the resources it makes her very dynamic actually but because of the way your movement across the top played out it was worthwhile for you to concentrate on the contracts um, which you did but I think that you know I do think that it does feel more versatile um, in terms of sort of what you can pursue um, but yeah I mean you know if you wanted to summarize the changes essentially it's that I mean movement may not be easier it's just more flexible in the sense that you can move twice I mean, more, more viable as a strategy I guess right because yeah. now if you get if you get out or you get out um, 10 um, what are they called train posts you know now you get i don't know you get 10 points you know you get 10 you get five bonus points just replacing them 
and you get a bunch of po points for, this, for, the, for the shield system. Um, whereas before, placing a bunch of them wasn't as good. Mm -hmm. It's made it more viable, but I don't know if it's actually made it, well, in theory it's made it more viable to just win with travelling. Has it actually, in print and practice? I'm not sure. Because I didn't really get to try it out, I guess. Mm. Handback, thank you for joining and for your minutes just chat. I enjoyed it. This is heading off. Hey, the back is heading off. Catch you next time, buddy. Oh, thanks for watching, man. Um, thanks for joining us. But yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I sound like I'm being super critical, which is, which isn't fair, because I really like the game. And if this was the first game, if this was the one that came out first, or if this was the only one, I would have really enjoyed it and really recommended it. But I guess I just don't feel it makes, makes enough improvements to justify its existence, existence, existence over the first one. Mm -hmm. But that's after one play, so make it that what you will. And it's also one play. Does it, you know, it's worth noting it's after one play where I kind of had a very simple, narrow-minded strategy. <laughs> In fact, your strategy was more or less the winning strategy from the first game. <laughs> It's really uh, not a good even, showcase. Even, even more so, to be honest, in a way. Um, I intended to use the shields, and it just, I just, like I said, I, I explained the very start of the mm, yeah. this section. I just did, I just very, just worked out, this is not worth my, my, my Everything rather uh, serendipitously fell into the, the, the strategy for doing contracts. It worked out very well for you. Maybe my character is the most broken. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but I will say this, um, when I had her, I won. <laughs> but I, I, I've played but, uh, Marco. coincidence is not correlation, right? Or whatever. No, absolutely, absolutely not. Yeah. I, I've played first Marco Polo several times on BGA with my, um, regular group. Um, and I'll, now that I've learned this, I'll probably, next time we're going to play, I'll probably say, say I'll teach you this one. So cause I'd like to play it a couple of times and see... Like if my opinion can be changed, and so I'll I'll, I'll gather some more data on the characters. <laughs> cool. I'll, I'll be interested to hear how you feel. I I think for me I would get this one out of the first one because I don't think the leap to learning the shield system is even though I I do think it's inelegant and I wish it was simpler and better explained. I don't think the leap to learning it is that much more of an extra demand. There is additional randomization in this, the city cards, the ledgers. I don't mind that. You know, I know it's kind of a funny thing to imagine on a on a, a, a game like this which feels like a very very tight euro. But I don't uh, I don't mind it so much, you know, and for example, with the money exchange on the last round, deciding when to take that card was a huge consideration for me. I was very tempted to just get it right up front so that you wouldn't get it, you know? Um, and waiting... Yeah, I, I, I actually had plenty of money at the end. I absolutely should have used it. <laughs> I was literally like, I'm going to wait for Chris to like not notice this again. <laughs> you know? Um, and uh, I was thinking, is this truly evil? Because, you know, you had literally said, please remind me, because this is like, you know... Because I'm going to keep forgetting. And I was like, oh god, but if I point this out, it's it's going to be really detrimental to me. But It's so, um, it's so weird that I, I fail to notice them every time, and yet also have decided I don't like it because people will notice it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think, I think it, it definitely, it may, I, I, you know, I'm sure you're perfectly capable of sort of objective analysis, but it did like... It did shaft you in that first round as well, or the second round, when you wanted to get that thing. Do you think there's a subconscious bias because it betrayed you? <laughs> well, I, I don't think so. The reason I don't think so is because it's actually the opposite reason that I don't like it. I don't like it because um, when people do notice it, like had I, so for example, I actually think had I used this, so I, I actually went into that turn knowing I wanted to grab the jeweler yeah, had you seal. used it your lead would have been even and, greater <laughs> yeah had I that's what I'm saying I, I, went, I went into it knowing I wanted this and it had that come up and I was like oh my god at the exact perfect time this has come up that's so fortunate that would have been kind of I genuinely like, think I, the combo of that character you have in that Xanadu position is so strong <laughs> it's so strong yeah, if you can get that, if you can get that that gold generating city wherever it may be and on the board, and what's... a contract city, mm. and you have that character, you're sort of you're sort of set. 
Mm -hmm. But you were fortunate as well because they were right next to Beijing, you know, and I suppose that's one of the sort of things that might frustrate people about this is that they can sort of, you, because there's more randomization, um, and you know, this, this extends to the, the, the contracts on the board as well, not just, not the contracts, but the, the city cards that are on the board as in addition to the ones, the placement of them on the board as well, bearing in mind, you know, that all the income spaces and all of the city tiles, which are, you know, the rewards you get for building in a city, as well as the income spaces, which are the blue ones, they're all randomized as well. So the game actually has a lot of randomization. The difference is what's telegraphed and you can plan around and what isn't. Having said that, you know, um, the card coming out in Xanadu, um, you know, if Chris had been familiar with an, enough with the game to observe that, the potential potency of that combo there, um, perhaps, you know, I might have been also so familiar and known to go there and also build in Xanadu to block him, you know? Yeah, which wouldn't block me, but it would definitely, if we were competing over that position, I would do it for half as much, presumably. <laughs> which would be very, <laughs> which would massively crippled the strategy. Yeah, well, it, yeah, it certainly would have uh, made my life easier, I imagine. Or not easier, but uh, well, I mean, I could have used gold. Gold's really useful. <laughs> I definitely spent a lot of time trying to acquire jade to trade for gold. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I, um, but coming back to what I was saying before, I just think, I think especially for new players, the sort of the random elements actually um, are fun, you know, and not necessarily as frustrating. You know, if I was sitting down to play, I'm, the thing is, if I was sitting down to play a Euro game, with a bunch of like really hardcore Euro gamers. I like how the game progression's on 94%, like we didn't finish it. <laughs> Hang on, I have to show you this. Uh, just up there in the corner, it says 94%. It's like, what? But, um, you know, I don't know if this would be my, my first choice Euro. For... Anyway, I guess what I'm saying is uh, I like them both, but I just, uh, I think this one feels a little le less desperate to me. The original Marco Polo <laughs> definitely feels like like sort of you're really starved for resources and everything's so difficult to do and you have to, it, the choice of what to prioritize is so agonizing and then you know um i guess you can get around a lot of and then you know there's this rumor of the the contract strategy being the winning strategy i don't know we've never been able to implement that although you know obviously based on our play here today our one play here today contracts are completely broken and uh, i'm going to burn that gold card in xanadu just take it out of my coffee. <laughs> throw it in the bin. <laughs> but most importantly, um, we had a Mike victory with a Chris Camel Lord, and then we had a Chris victory with a Mike Camel Lord. And now we have a Chris victory with a Chris Camel Lord. Let's just play more Jaipur, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't be you at Jaipur. You're just, you're, you're just objectively better than me at that game. <laughs> stupidly good at Jaipur. <laughs> but uh, congratulations on your win, Chris. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well played. And thank you very much for the game. Thank you for playing. And uh, thank you, chat, for joining us. And yes, to everyone indeed. who's stuck through watching this until the end, uh, I hope you've had a Hegus's best three out of five. <laughs> Hegus, yeah. you can find us more Camel Lord games than yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, best we need... three out of five. That's it. <laughs> go, go forth and find Camel games on the internet for us to play. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we'll have to. Well, hopefully, I think hopefully next Wednesday will be. I think we're available. I think we'll, we're able to do one next. Week. We might be doing something special next Wednesday, or we've got something in the pipeline, don't we? I that think might... I know what you're talking about. <laughs> we'll have to see if, uh, <laughs> if uh, we can get it sorted out. <laughs> we talk about so many different things that it's hard to know which one you're referring to. <laughs> That's true. Well, we got a couple things actually, but it's kind of the same thing, but in just okay, entirely yeah, different I, platforms. I know so. you're talking. I we'll see. Depending on how things work out, we may <laughs> may look at one, may look at the other. But uh, yeah, very exciting stuff. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Um, there's literally nobody watching this right now who hasn't subscribed to the channel. <laughs> see, see, so we'll see you next Good Monday afternoon. for for Hump Day to two player Hump Day Gameathon Wednesday special edition stream, which I believe was the name Hagers came up with. <laughs> <laughs> was it Hagers? I can't remember. Was Hagers, wasn't it? I think that was. Yeah. I think yeah. That's our current working title for these sessions. Yeah. Hump, <laughs> hump Wednesday. Hump Day. Two-player hump. Two, whatever. <laughs> See you next Wednesday. <laughs> cool, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you've liked the video, please do leave a like down below. It's it's free to do, and it helps us out. And if you like this kind of content and you want to help support it, you can always check out the Patreon as well. But for now, have a good night. 
I hope you're all doing well and looking after yourselves and staying safe and coping okay. And we'll be here for the next stream. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh,